Yeah. Now the question is, tell me the story of the escape room. Like, what's it's the rope? Escape rope. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> escape rope. Watch out! Watch out! Hey. The rope. The rope. Watch the, the rope. thing. Rope, 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 rope. <laughs> relax, relax. It's only, rope. it's only me. The escape rope. Um, you want to do this? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll do it. it. So um, I, I don't really know what your age group is, but when I was younger, I was playing Pokemon. Um, and every time you want to get out of a, a cave, you have to use the escape rope. You use it and you go straight to like a Pokemon center to oh, heal shit. your Pokemons. Oh, shit. So yeah. you pretty much just want to... So for us, it was kind of like an analogy of um, this is something that we want to do once a week to take us out of our day-to-day, Yep. Our week-to-week. This is something that we just want to talk about, something we'll enjoy. And um, maybe if other people listen to it, this could be their escape rope as well. Just listen to it and... Oh, damn. Yeah, there was a, there, that, yeah. I think that became that became it. Like the initial... Uh, initial the initial idea was like to take people out of the nine to five yep. and get into the, like their path where it defines the characters right. and actually like find out what they really love in life mm, like, yeah. as opposed to like always grinding the nine to five, always have a structure sort of uh, life yeah, yeah, yeah. mindset sort of thing. So yeah, that's, that was the escape rope when we... Uh, I can vibe with that. Welcome to the podcast where the old school meets the new school. I am Tito Devon. And I'm Tito Darius. And we are the Double D's. All right, so besides work, besides all the crap that stops us from living life, what uh, have you been up to? Live life? <laughs> <laughs> now, it's a good, uh, it's a good, good week, good yeah. sunny day, right? We haven't had any rain. So I've been going out. Uh, other from my favorite doing coaching, other from the other side, I still love it. Uh, no news, no new bad news. Yeah, I don't that's know. Good. That's, that's good. good. That's what that's what uh, you want to hear. So the life, I've I've seen you a couple of times. So yeah. mm, you still look sexy as always. <laughs> uh, you know, other from so that, positive you know, <laughs> other from that, man, I'm getting younger and younger. So that's the good thing. I'm full thick of hair, soft. It's a new style. No that little gel. gray hair yeah, right. happening. Right? No gel at all. So everything's good. <laughs> everything's good. How about you, brother? What's happening? Yeah, man. Um, I've been getting quite excited about this. Like Ron said, uh, we're we're like a bit nervous because we normally like to prepare yeah. for our podcast. Yeah. So no, going to another podcast, not knowing what to talk about, that was like a bit daunting. Yeah. So, yeah. So thanks for inviting us, by the way. No that was, worries. That was amazing. Anytime. I like uh, I like uh, getting different perspectives mm. coming in and having conversations. Yeah. And yeah. Have you met with any um, other podcast uh, podcaster around Sydney? Um, I did. Uh, there was this app, uh, the Meetup. Have you ever seen that app, the Meetup? Meetup.com? Mm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Radio Hub in Alexandria. Okay. They have. Uh, it's they're a footy podcast. Oh wow! But oh, they yeah. rent out their room as well. Okay. And um, I went to a, their. They got all the podcasters together, and I met uh, like a whole different, like a whole like a networking situation. A network, yeah, yeah. You need our community of podcasts. Yeah. Wow. It was, it was. Uh, that was intimidating. That's right. like people have been doing it for years, and I just started, and I was like, I don't belong here. I don't know what I'm doing. Why? Why? The Why would you say that? Syndrome. Imposter syndrome. Yeah. It was. Yeah. What is it? It's called the imposter syndrome. Okay. It's like when you, like, for example, you're a boxer, right? You started teaching boxing already. Yep. You know your stuff. Yeah. But at the start, you knew your stuff, but you. You didn't feel qualified because of the other guys, yeah, who has more experience exactly. than you. Okay, it's like how I feel when I, I'm rolling with you, right? Because I'm like, oh, in crap. bed. Oh, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> hey, secret. We're on air here. Keep it down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like when I see other uh, other jujitsu guys, I'm like, uh, I even though I've been training for like two years, I still feel like I don't know my my my, my shit. Yeah. Can we swear on this podcast? Yeah, we, yeah, we, go we, ahead. No, man, it's against my religion. <laughs> Seriously, this guy. What, what else is against your religion? <laughs> <laughs> you mean say oh, that? Oh yeah, guys. Day. It's my um. It's my fourteenth day on detox. So no meat, no white meat, no men, <laughs> no white meat, <laughs> <laughs> brown meat. <laughs> brown meat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no sugar. Well, no caffeine. That the hardest part is no caffeine. Yeah. Uh, the the caffeine syndrome. Huh. Mm- like literally, I'm no, a, what? What? The, I'm caffeine withdrawal. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> no withdrawal. caffeine syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I'm gone. Yeah. All right, the caffeine withdrawal, it's real. Right. Yeah. So right, right. on the first, second, third day, I'm like, I'm always having headaches. Like mm. I'm always jittery. So I'm always like, I'm having nausea. Right. Mm. Yeah, and I'm always fatigued. So are you coffee drinkers? Yes, we are. Yeah. Have you ever detoxed? No. No. D- that's so what. Why I'm, would I want to do that to myself? Dude, I had to. You I, have to. But you why? Try. Because the, the power of the coffee comes back. The power of the caffeine comes oh, back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Bro, if you I detox. Have, I have like 
I, I, I seriously have maybe a liter of coffee a day. That's yeah. what. So That's like wow. one of those uh, yeah. tum- was one of those tumblers, I put like three scoop of yeah the, four the cups right in total. If you say yeah yeah, so I'm yeah. always like I have to have hard palpitations. No, no. I got I got a cup in my car right now. Probably gonna drink that afterwards. Oh, really? Wow. Wow. Yeah. How about you, Ron? Are you a? How, how well, you? I'm, I might have like two cups a day. That's pretty two cups a day. Yeah. I've been one uh, morning, uh, one literally my body's now is just green tea and matcha. So what was the reason for the detox? I just needed, I'm just like, I needed the detox. I felt like after COVID, then I started, uh, like I gained 14 kilos. Look at that. It's 14 kilos. Yeah. Look at that. He's squeezing my burger (laughs) joint right there. (laughs) My burger (laughs) joint from outboard wax. Now I'm just like, flubber, (laughs) flubber. So, nah, it's it's good to, you know, it's good to get that weight back. I'm happy with my weight, to be honest with you. It's like, but in the same time, I guess, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, different food intakes that unnecessarily hmm. sugar. Uh, yeah, sugar. and I felt like crap. Yeah. So, hey, we're doing a little. I, I, sugar we're doing, doing, we're doing right sugar now. right now. Like, we're not not touching anything. But I'm taking it a step further because so I'm, you can I, so you no sweet at all. No sweet. So no I girlfriend tried, at all. Uh, That's sweet. What's, what was it? Yeah, n- no girlfriend, he says. Oh. <coughs> no, no sweet yeah. stuff, this guy. No, I'm actually, I'm actually been doing this and then uh, also trying to eat healthy because I started F45 as well. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, with your so, brother? Yeah. <coughs> oh, quick Mate. question on that one. Yeah. You know his brother? Yeah. Oh, who's older? To be honest with you, who's older? Guess. I don't want to offend anyone. I'm not going to offend this. I'm not taking no offense <laughs> to that. Right? That's why I'm getting confused still now. I'm gonna wanna, yeah. I, wanna, I, yeah. wanna, I want the real truth in this. Who's older? You or Jay? Are you, are you asking him? Are you asking me? What's your guess? Yeah. I, I know the answer. Ah, uh, because Eric told me. So what is it? So <laughs> That's why. So, so, but I didn't so, no, know no, he okay, was okay. the older brother. So, I didn't so, know you were the older brother. Yeah, no. So you are the older. I am. But the you older don't one. look. At, I thought it was Jay. Jay is Jay is like what twenty twenty seven. He's now. young. Wow. He's a baby. Yeah. I'm I'm thirty. That's three years. He's That's three still years. young too. Yeah. yeah. So he, he, still <laughs> he got born. He was born like uh, I think. I think my mom, my mom told us about this. Uh, he was born like is is one point five kilo for baby heavy. No. No. Isn't it? it that's I always le- thought that was heavy. Actually, no. No, I, my my kid came out at three kilos. Are we, uh, maybe three? It was, maybe it was three point five. Yeah, three must three point five. 3. Yeah, 5 or something yeah. Like it that. has to go three yeah. and four. That's like, heavy. Here's here's a weird one. Like he's like a head taller than me. I'm like, where did, where'd you come from? <laughs> are, you, are you sure? <laughs> do, we need, do we need to do a DNA test here? <laughs> <laughs> well, how tall are you? Um, uh, uh, we just did a um six a, foot. You yeah, are at least no, six no. foot, right? Five eleven. What's 5'11? What's a that's nearly six foot. 5'11, yeah. six foot is like 175. We just did a, a we, the, those weigh ins or body scans. I'm actually sitting at 177. Hmm. And he's like 182. Oh, 6'1, 6'2. Did he do the body? Yeah, he got the body well. scan as is well. Is he fat? Um, <laughs> I, like, I like it. I like oh, Jay, it. I don't know where I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, your brother just dropped you out. I'm not. Oh, are we airing, yeah. this? Huh? We're, we're airing this right. Um, is he fat? No, Jay's not fat. He doesn't look solid. fat, but I just want to say solid, he's got, bro. He's got, he's he's got solid. a little bit. He's so heavy. He's Have heavy. With him? He's 90 plus. Oh, man. Only early on, and he was taking it easy on me. Yeah, that, that guy always plays easy on Jay, me. Jay, is oh, it yeah. the chicken? Is your chicken on steroids? All chicken's got steroids. His legs is like. This size, I don't know how. No, what because he has his. Uh, c- congratulations to Jay. Congratulate, yeah, because he, he has his own uh, shops right now, right? The oh, ch- yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah the, the chicken, chicken. Mm. the chicken, uh, what? the fried chicken store. What do you mean? Oh, the the what truck, is what yeah. is the food truck, chicky chooks, chicky chooks. He owns that. I should have been. I should have worn. Where, his, uh, where his, is it? Where is it? It's in, around my area, Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah. Okay. Come check so, it out. Oh, come check it out. So there you go. That's I told you. Must be the chicken. That's why he's heavy. Yeah, <laughs> it's 105 apparently. Fuck. 100 kilos. Jay, you're 105. He's, yeah. he's not like 105, yeah. five foot yeah. two. He's For an Asian like, fella. He's pretty tall, eh? Yeah. He's a big boy. He's a big, big boy. boy. Mm. You show your brothers. That's what I mean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, then, but then your younger brother, he's 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 pretty big as well. Oh uh, yeah, 13 is on my height already. Yeah, really. We're freaking big Asians. So yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what happened. That's good. Yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised yeah, you haven't big tried big rugby league or anything. I've never been a fan of like rugby. I've never look before before jujitsu. I've never been, never been a sports person. Really? Never. Huh? What yeah. have you? Uh, what arts? Were you into arts or no games? Games? I was just a geek and just playing <laughs> games at home, man. Okay. okay this yeah. guy's laughing because he's always teasing me oh, on the funny. podcast for it. <laughs> Are you into sport, Ron? Yeah, I was always a. Uh, 
well, soccer early onwards, um, yeah, and yeah. then basketball, um, and then it's been basketball ever since. And then j- jiu-jitsu, last couple of years. So, but basketball. So, yeah. you're following the playoffs right now? I am, I am. Yeah. Good. It's been good fun. Turned out pretty well, this whole the whole bubble yeah. situation. Apparently, the stats have gone up, right? Like Yeah. Yeah. Of uh, there's no crowds, no one booing him, no one putting him off and shit. So it's it's a weird dynamic. It's no right? home court event. Yeah, that's right. It's different. Every time I watched it live, it's just like you're playing. It seems that you're playing the PlayStation mm. because the the movement of the camera from the side. Yeah. And the digital from the outside. I go what? And the, is the, that better or like worse? I it is like getting weird. It, yeah. I, I really I, I just want someone's like, what yelling at them or <laughs> you know, haggling <laughs> about them. I have to be honest. They they. The, the broadcast uh, was pretty good in the sense that it does replicate a lot of the crowd noises and whatever else. And you know how in the background you've got the... Um, the interactive people, people yeah, from yeah, Zoom. That, that, yeah. that sort of like, um, you know, replaces, I feel like, a lot of the crowds. Wait, so so the, the game at the moment has no one in it? No, no crowds. One, no. no crowds. So no one's yelling at anyone. No, 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 no. It, but the crowd noise or virtual crowd noise has effect. It's pretty great. Yeah. Is it? It's amazing yeah. how they've done it. Like, cause it's, I'm, I'm picturing, life. I'm picturing like, you know, have you seen those, that video about, uh, with Tony Robbins mm-hmm. running around with like screens surrounding yeah, the body? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he's just t- like high-fiving the yeah. screen. So I'm like, <laughs> that looks awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but, but imagine that you're paying $10,000 to see him on, you know, on your yeah, own yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you pay ten, yeah. Tony Robbins yeah. at his peak was expensive, bro. Still, it's, it's like, like a, still, it's expensive. It's, it's still like expensive. a cult, isn't it? It's uh, a motivational speech about someone, because two of my guys that I know, I said Darius, we bought the three days uh, oh. it, the firewalk yeah something was like the just firewalk? recently last year or two years ago yeah they said after, after after that I don't want to come back because it feels like it's a cult well it it, um, it is essentially the, the energy is sort of the same yeah you kind of right? have to really believe you if you're yeah. paying 10 grand for, for something empowering right? so yeah. everything so you, ca- you come out mm. re-energize yeah mm. I don't yeah, yeah I don't know a lot of people I, I've someone's gone in there and he said that after fit the finish the three days, he felt like he could do anything. Well, we, we actually talked about this on one of our episodes um, in passing. But what I think it is, people who go there, pay the money, and don't find value in it, I think it's because they're not at that level, right? I've spoken to some some of my uh, business friends, and he, he this guy's paid for it, like friend, by the way. He's, this guy's paid like five thousand, six thousand yeah, dollars. Right. Yeah, that's true. Like that's you can something for a ridiculous. course. Yeah. He said to me that he found every bit of value out of that right. uh, 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 out of that event, <clears throat> sort of thing. He was open to it. He was exactly. open to everything that um, mm. Tony was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Now I got a quick question uh, because we're talking about this virtual stuff, right? Nah, well, well, uh, nah, 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 I'm gonna be straightforward. Spiritual. I told you this. Spiritual. Though, hey, don't cut this off. No worries. Right? Gonna be religious this, on us. Cut, this is this <laughs> fun. When once the last time you guys went to the strip joint? Now be honest, strip joint. Yeah, <sighs> shit. Was um, a couple that, of years ago in Thailand. Yeah, Thailand. Oh come on, look at all that. Oh, oh, it's been a while. Yeah, we're just oh, pre-COVID. I, I, I uh, no. Have you been to Septa Playhouse? Y- yes, no. I worked there. No <laughs> way. Not, not worked there, there. I've you dance? Done, no, no. I'm actually like working. They're even wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, attention on me. I've opened the door. Ladies' night. Ladies' night. Mate, I didn't know. They, I, mate, they're mate, hiring. Mate, mate. Hook me up. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Before we go there, if you're gonna say, have you been, ever been to a strip joint and say Sefton Playhouse, man, it's like right down there. Yeah. Now, at least say men's. What was it? Men's gallery. Men's gallery. Or pure platinum. At least say that. At least say that. Not not lower the bar straight away. No, but because Sefton Playhouse is just like. Hey, don't man. The last time in Septon Playhouse is they went up, meaning <laughs> they upgraded. I are they clean? They had restaurants in there. Yeah. They had a restaurant in there. Yeah, yeah. Females yeah. are uh, like the pay- anyway. The Septon Playhouse, oh, yeah, Playhouse. Playhouse is a rite of passage. Mm. Everyone had like really? everyone, everyone in the area okay. must have gone to Septon Playhouse at least once. Even up. even Prime Minister Rod was there. What? Really? Yeah, go check it out. Well, back in the day, or like no, I would vote before for any, any guy that goes to strip club and admit it. Septon Playhouse, Prime Minister Kevin Rudd, before before he becoming a, a, I don't know about even even when he was in New York, he went to the strip joint. I, I That's the reason look, why. Just look this shit up. Yeah, you got guys. Trust me. When it comes to this, I know my news. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but come yeah, on, going, like, going back I to the Berto, right? So all strip joints, all female uh, dancers lost their jobs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So male, doesn't matter if it's male dancers mm. or female dancers. Everything shut down, even the US. Yeah. Because you, 
I think a month or s- <laughs> three months ago, you go there. You gotta. He's been telling me go on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. You told me go. Just, yeah, yeah. Check out TikTok. Check, yeah. Check out TikTok. Because I didn't have. You got freaking uh, Inst- IG. You got Facebook. You got Twitter. I said, man, what's next? Goes check it out TikTok. So hmm. I opened my account. Just watch it. Man, you know what? You don't need to go to strip joints. Oh man, you don't need to tick this. Bruh, Instagram's dude. the same as well. No, right? no, no. The TikTok's the best. You just have put seven different iPads and you just have been popcorns in there. Just pretend there's a dim light. <laughs> man, they can go, oh <laughs> man, the real. I like but, it. I like what, it. What, what, okay, Guys, it's wait, not my what fault. What do you do? Uh, what do you do? What do you do if you want a, a private show? Like you, you can't, you can't touch anything. <clears throat> oh, you, you don't have to. It's the same <laughs> shit. No, it's not it's the, the same, same shit. shit. <laughs> it, it's, it's, I'm, I'm telling you. Then I'm telling you. I go. It's like they're flaunting everything down there. Mm. It doesn't. Uh, I don't think it's right there. If you watch it, there's the amount of dance move. They're all flaunting mm. mini bikinis. Mm. Something's there's nothing in there. And I said to myself, man, you just <clears> gotta have seven different iPads. <laughs> put a DJ music uh, pony on the back, you know. Right, uh, my I pony. just want to say though, you do you do the you do know the demographic of TikTok, right? It's they're probably like all fifteen. Yeah, they're young. No, you're young. sick old man. <laughs> no, yeah. they're like uh, they gotta be more than fifteen. No, I'm watching. When they're all dancing all these uh, challenges. That's what they tell themselves, man. Oh, man. But what I'm trying to say, there you go. You don't have to go to strip joints. Just go open by the... Yeah. It's the same thing. I, be- I believe you. It's just, I just got to have my monop- uh, monopoly money. <laughs> Dance. Dance. What, what, by the way, what's, <clears throat> what does this have to do with spirituality? Well, well, I don't I, know. I, I, when we were not talking. <laughs> 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 I was just talking about bird will think that we were going down the, the path. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the plug and wow. roll, bro. Wow. There you go. We're taking the long yeah, road yeah. around that, man. It's about uh, it's I about COVID. It came back from the COVID era. It came back from the COVID. That's what I'm trying. Yeah. You think about it, right? So the IG reels just came out. Yeah. I don't. But it's chat. more. It's more regulated on uh, IG. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. it? Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be like, with a parent company like Facebook. I have no idea. They're still out there. Yeah. They're still out there. Now, quick question. So your business is, uh, how's the business doing? You're a digital, how would you say this? Digital c- cinema photography? It's actually on hold. I've actually, actually pivoted again. So I'm actually doing uh, e-commerce now. E-commerce. So you're selling what? So I'm doing like filler, filler products. Woo. Like uh, groceries. Oh, nice! So there. Uh, it's it's not launched yet. Like it's gonna be launched in, in about in about a month time. So Ooh. I've actually partnered up with my uncle, who's got a, sh- a shop in Campbelltown, yeah. um, Crown Supermarket. I'm not sure if you know about it. Mm. No, probably ask your mate. He'll yeah, probably yeah. know about it. So he's been around for ten years. Okay, he hasn't had an online uh, online presence yet. Right. So I'm like, I offered him because you know how the COVID nineteen thing happened. I've actually had the same business as Jay, food trucks, right? Right. But I shut down my business because I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You're I'm, tired. I'm, I'm done with hospitality. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is my my jam right here, like podcasts, like uh, all digital stuff, yeah. right? So, um, yeah. So now I asked him like if he wants an online presence, so I'm gonna do do it for him. Yeah. So all I'm doing is just like the, all the online stuff, marketing and whatnot, out of my own pocket. Right. And then we we'll partner up like that. Okay. Just take a cut out of it. All right. Well, that's great. Well done. Is, is this uh, uncle, like real uncle or just real, uncle, uncle? Like, you know how yeah, Asians say, it's, oh, it's, it's my it's uncle. Not like, it's not like you feel like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like There's only one fellow in here. There's only one fellow right there. He's French. I'm French. Oh, yeah. Comme ça va, man? Ça va, ça va. Are you an entrepreneur too, Ron? No, no. I, I'm a nine to five dude, man. Nine to five? Yeah. Just any any um, aspirations to be a. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, probably. Two three years ago, I started thinking about um, the entrepreneurial Sh- route. Strip joint? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's I'll add to the <laughs> list. <laughs> hey man, good money. You get good money. Trust yeah. me. I'm look yeah. at yeah. it. Just do a ma- yeah. massage plus plus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> that's on the list. Like that's on the list. <laughs> that's that's, a, that's, a, list. that's yeah. a massage plus plus. Like, <laughs> yeah. No happy endings. So what what are they like? Why don't they like merge those two together? Strip clubs and plus plus. massages. Yeah. Yeah. I became a uh, a brothel yeah i don't it's a brothel straight away yeah so you you you, you have your show and then See, if you this need is release entrepreneurial mindset right, right here right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> or have a van outside the strip club because you know oh, when they yeah. come out they're like oh shit what yeah, i'm tired what about what about instead of a food truck you just like <laughs> a van, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I'm sure. I'm sure at, the, at that point they'll, they'll pay any money just to <laughs> get some release. You know. Um. Yeah. So, uh, uh, entrepreneur wise, have you? Uh, I mean, I haven't. I haven't done anything. Yeah. Um. You know, I, I've I've always been a very uh, risk averse person, so yeah. not really so what, into. So, what's your profession, Ron? So I, I'm in uh, I'm in finance. Yeah. So I basically just. You know, so you project don't want, you, management. You want to talk about brothels opening well, up? I think. <laughs> I think. I think it's. I mean, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I don't think I'm saying anything that's gonna hurt my. Career. I like. I like yeah. that idea. Yeah. I like that idea. I like that idea. <laughs> so you've always been like doing business. I've I've been doing business since uh, two two thousand and five. Wow. Yeah. So <clears throat> so I started off as a farmer. Like when I stepped foot in uh, in business in the business world, I was a nine to five. I was in IT. Yeah. Starting off, and then I'm like, hey. I don't want to do IT. No, it's just not like I don't want to do IT. I, lo- I still love tech and everything. It's just like the the my, my cycle was like at a company at any company I've ever been is maximum two years. Just boredom. I get so bored. Right, like, right. Uh, 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 just doing the, all the repetitive stuff. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't you? You don't see yourself yeah. yet from the long yeah. run. Yeah, I no. feel you. Yeah, I, I couldn't feel. do. I couldn't do it. And then my dad offered me the uh, a way out. He's like, "Hey, I, I got a. F- I just opened a farm. Do you want to come on board with it?" Yeah. So, Went out and do that for three years. Yeah, I was a farmer. So you know how to cultivate? I do. Yeah, I've oh, got, a little, I've got a little garden at home now. No, yeah. dude, I'll. Haven't you followed on Instagram? He made his own um uh, oh, bed. I'm yeah, like I'm the dude. I got stuck on TikTok. <laughs> 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 I got to dance for this guy to see my shit on, on IG. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got stuck at TikTok. Yeah. So if you gotta cultivate, let's do some mushroom. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you know, do any mushroom. I like, I like that. I, I like, like the sound of this. <laughs> That's business right there. That's yeah. business. All right. Uh, so. Mushroom, like you talk about, like the the oyster, the, the oyster mushroom, right? No. Just to put it that disclaimer. <laughs> 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 so other from that, so yeah. Ron finance. Hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, He's got it. Uh, Ron's got a very analytical mind, and that's what I like about it. Yeah, because I'm I'm always like forward thinking, always jumping the the uh, jumping the point. Just well, he brings you forward. back down. Yeah, he does. Right. Like, right. With the whole podcasting is like, if I didn't have him, like I wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. Like we wouldn't be like having the the podcast so structured. Yeah, right, right. Because right. I just wanted to do everything off yeah. the bat. Yeah, so Devin's like that. Um, what? Uh, um, you're like me. Yeah. I just like as I said, f- just flow. You know, mm. I'll, I'll, I'll think about later. Yeah, yeah well, Devin Delben will always uh, okay. You got you got to do the, you you have to maintain it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get me. Oh, what's yeah. the point? Like, yeah. what's the point? Like for me, like uh, any idea is freaking awesome, right? But like to execute and to keep that consistency, yeah, is the goal. Like, there's no it. point fucking like doing shit and then like going, I didn't work. I go, man, how long did you try it for? Three weeks. Mm. <laughs> it's, not gonna fun, it's not gonna work, is it? Like, That's come consistent. on. Yeah. There's a there's a good um. Uh, IG post that I saw he's, the, the title the two titles is entrepreneur and yeah. entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. entrepreneur I think I've yeah, seen yeah. this yeah, yeah it's like yeah. From, from one like the, the icon is like uh, idea to execution and the yeah. other one's like idea to idea within a month yeah. sort of mm. thing. so yeah. idea to idea then yeah something gives up yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so have you heard of Gary V I love Gary, Gary v. V. so he's who's like your a, who's your staple. big thing who's your um, who's your go to for uh, guru, guru. Um, is, that, is, that, is that what it is, guru? No, I, I don't. I don't want to say guru. Uh, that, that's that's usually that, how that I see them in a way. Like I, I think guru's got a bad connotation. There, there, to there it. are. I think. I think there are some negative connotations with the word guru. But yeah. you know, that's kind of how I, I see them. Wait, yeah. wait a minute. Bring me back, guys. Right, right, right. Who's Gary Vee's not a singer. Oh, okay. It's not the singer. Uh, I was just wondering. Is that a, there's a there's singer. Yeah, Gary Vee. He's been the ages. Gary Vee. I want to hear songs. There you go. So Gary V is what? He's a, a, bl- a blogger, a serial, a serial entrepreneur, yeah. sort of thing. Like he's he's as real as it gets. I love I love the way he's he talks. Yeah, um, I gotta check this out. Yeah, check him out. Like at first, you probably don't like him because he, he's got he's a aggressive. Very, he's very aggressive very when he aggressive. tells you stuff. Uh, tells you something, right? So, for example, like if someone comes up to him and is like, "Hey, what am I doing wrong?" He goes, "Have you been working? How many hours have you been working?" And they're like, "Oh, oh, oh I don't know." Kind of thing. So, so he's yeah. right. He's straight to the point. Straight to the point. So it's yeah. not no it's sugar like, coating. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. It's like <clears throat> work hard, hustle, and don't think there's like shortcuts around it. There is a, yeah. yeah. You just never no shortcut. Yeah. I wish there was. Control Alt Delete Mate, all the time. If <laughs> if there was shortcuts, we'll be all there. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right. No shortcut at all. Um, to answer your question, Gary V, Tim Ferriss. Tim Ferriss was like yeah. one of my first guys. To, I need to like you need to check out. Mm-hmm. Like I've got multiple books of the Four Hour Work Week. And I hand them out like whenever someone like asks me about something like this, right? 
You got it too. I don't think I know. Driver Mentors, Tools of Titans got yeah, those. Yeah. Ask Gary V yeah, got all of those. Yeah. Yeah. Playboy of the Month. Playboy uh, of the Month. Playmate right? of the Year. The magazine <laughs> right there. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, 80, 20, 80 20 principle yeah you got all the good stuff it's um uh, like all that stuff like um there, there's good points in in like there's good points in all of them right yeah yeah i just don't know how much of it it's adaptable to everyone like well no you just pick and choose right yeah. you, pick you can't and you can't you. rely on them exclusively like yeah. if you're gonna t- if you're gonna tell me you follow uh gary v exclusively you're doing it wrong yeah because obviously a lot a lot of the things that he's gonna do you're not gonna be able to do yeah there are a lot of things like for example working 80 hours a week like for example elon musk yeah you hear that that already turns you off yes right. Right. It does, hundred percent. I'm like, I'm not. I don't want to be working eighty hours. Yeah, no, 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 no. And um, I love how on he, on the Joe Rogan's podcast, he's like, Joe, Joe's like, oh man, I wish I was you. He goes, no, you don't want to be me. You yeah, don't wish you don't want to wish to be me. Yeah. Eighty hours, it's no sleep. grueling, man. It's it is yeah. grueling. I, I mean, what's your what's your maximum work hours? Like, like before you just go fuck this, like. Mine's, mine's, man, 60 hours for me is maximum for me. Working 60 hours. 60 it's like hours. 12 hours for five days. Yeah, right. that's it. That's it. That's a lot. <laughs> no, it, is it a lot? It seems like a lot, yeah. Because, like, I mean, like, I go to my nine to five and then yeah. I come and do the, the like, the question side is, if, if it's a nine to five job, yeah, yeah of course you're going to hate it. But if you love something doing it, yeah, I can go long. I love coaching. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. I yeah. love coaching. I, I agree with that. I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, man, I'll wake up. 4.30 just to like 5.30 is my first coaching. I love Jeez. doing that. So how many students do you get like in one in one class? No, in, in personal training yeah. or thing? Depends, you know. But if it's, it's a pre-COVID, it was, it was great. You know, there was, I have a lot, lot of classes mm. that, and session. After that, it changes the ball game. Mm. They went back to one-on-one or two-on-one. You get me? So I'm, I'm like, there's a thing when I'm, I'm watching like you guys doing like private coaching, you and George, for example, I'm like, all right, you do one hour. Like how, how do you scale that? You know, sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's, I, I, I fight with scale. I fight with scaling and that like, you fight with it a lot. Yeah. Like, you don't like it at all. Um, I, I don't, I, I understand scaling <clears throat> it, uh, depending on your goal, but scaling if it like, cause I've got, uh, I've got one there that says small giants. Mm. small giant so it's, of that book, yes. it's like you don't go massive you don't scale to massive but what you do have is so strong that people will come to you no matter how mm. how it's like one of that idea the uh, the kevin kelly's one ch- 1000 true fans right no i don't know that have one. you heard that no, one? no 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 he says that uh if if you have the chance to read his book he says that um if you have 1000 dedicated true yes fans, sorry i have you have yep, right yep, yep, so yep, they'll yep. they'll keep buying like yep. whatever you put out and that will sustain you for for yep. for, for I, See, guys, I think Tim Ferriss said that as well, right? Tim Ferriss said a thousand. Um, he, might, he might have like interviewed. Can, can yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. See, guys, I love these guys. They they just love books. Because <laughs> I uh, I know Darius, right? Uh, mm. Darius's um, network is a very loyal network. Right, right. You know what I mean? So um, he's a lovable guy. That's what I'm saying. He's a lovable guy. <laughs> so it's. <laughs> 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 I like the way how the Korean does it. I was asking what, what is the, that what is that it's apparently it's a heart it's meant to be a heart like if oh. you look at it yeah. if you, if you, yeah, dude, right. I asked I thought it was like <laughs> <laughs> that's going, different yeah, that's, yeah, that's was, only girls do that that's why I was wondering I was like small oh, yeah. oh. small chin chin <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was wondering uh, which one <laughs> now going back into that right, yeah so you guys read a lot and uh, because now no, 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 hearing no, 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 no. that motivates me but i was just like it? yeah it just motivates but if i'm gonna read the motivation books like that it i choose choose which one but i won't finish the whole book do you yeah. like there are mm. there are apps out there that just reads like 15 minutes just a it's true of the it's true yeah. there's some people you don't there's a lot of uh i got a fillers, good, filler words yeah, yeah. yeah. i got uh, a good a, a good mate who literally finish a book a day <laughs> that's intense yeah. no really I'm gonna like, bring him here he's, his name's Jeff Olds he's good yeah yeah that, that, a book a day a, I think a that's book a day intense. and he created he, he but like bore. what does he speed read does it does he have photo- photography uh, nah, photography that's a lot he's just a lot of memory or something? I have no idea I got a photograph um, what is it you, you, <laughs> got, uh, <laughs> you don't even know you, you have that you have that I though. do have that, <laughs> you have that. especially you that. got oh, pornography yep. yeah, I got, uh, 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 <laughs> yep I met her yep I met her yeah, <laughs> yeah, swipe, yeah. Swipe, uh, swipe. <laughs> so yeah other problem that 
the good thing about you guys hearing this is just excite the excitement right? I mean, don't don't get me wrong like I, you you saying that right now i'm feeling like shit because i haven't launched my business just yet that's no. how I, that's how i feel right now you know really yeah like i mean we talk about this on a podcast a lot but i i am you procrastinate so hard on myself i don't procrastinate well i i what's it called yes i do but i sort of tell myself off for that does it stop you huh? stop your momentum when you do that do what like yes it does yes it know, does. yeah it, it takes, takes it, me a couple of hours to like reset and like uh, go yeah. so sort of thing. there's two type right so you have the idea you can execute it or it's stopping you because is it cash flow or finance problem or is it mental it's it's all mental it's, it's all, all mental yeah. i know i have the tools i know i have the knowledge to do things it's just sometimes like if i hit a speed bump I revert myself and beat myself up. Yeah. Before I I, I start like stepping. You reckon stepping that was uh, your uh, weakness when you were growing up? It was some sort of like I know I don't want to go too deep, but like <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not yeah, sure where yeah, it comes yeah. from. I think it's um, uh, and I talk about this a lot, and I think it's because like uh, I compare myself to my brother and my my dad a lot. See, that's yeah. you gotta so stop. I, yeah. Like, they they got like um, yeah. They I got a you. different mindset than I do. There there is. Focus on one thing and go, 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 go. Yeah. yeah. Whereas me, I'm like, whoa, everything's so interesting. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're still I mean, wondering. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know how you feel. Yeah. But I used to do that. Like, you don't want to, like, when you're comparing, like like what you said, you're, you're going to compare yourself to your brothers, that mm. they're go, go, go. Yeah. But you should not compare because you you, you have a different part and how yeah. you're going to execute that's it. That's right. So I, that's think, I think it's that's easier said than done sometimes, yeah. though. Um, because... I just turned off on that one. I said, like, when I see if he's doing great, I'm going to say, man, great. Hmm. I'm happy. Then I'm going to analyze how he does it hmm. rather than me, okay, feeling down. I said, I'm going to ask him, oh, Jay, uh, Fung, help, help me out. You know, how do you hmm. do this? How do you able to execute this? Right, right. So, I, I mean, I mean, I, I understand what you're, what you're saying and I, I understand because it stops me as well. But, yeah, like, the one of the... <laughs> I'm 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 listening to a book on Audible, right? The Leonardo da Vinci, uh, his biography, right? And he's the he's the master of not finishing shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> really? <laughs> the master. He just does everything. If you look at look finished. at his paintwork, mm. this painting, he stops. You don't see any finished work. Look at how many paint are finished. The Mona works. Lisa. Is that finished? Is that him? Is that, was that, that him? Is, is that I thought him, it was right? him. He's the Vinci Mona Lisa. Right. So, went to, uh, all right, look how. <laughs> actually, I need, I need look uh, yes, up. it is. It is him. It is. It is him. It is him. And she wasn't pretty too. Yeah, All right. That's why she didn't, so, she didn't so, finish the... <laughs> look how many, yeah, look how many completed um, paintings he's done compared to unfinished. Mm, I want to know now. Interesting. It is Leonardo da Vinci, by the way. <laughs> Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of finished stuff for Leon. But he's, uh, he's interesting because um, uh, I think Steve Jobs... Before found him passed. as an inspiration, like, and um, and same with uh, many of his work are unfinished. Yeah, mm. damn. So don't Here feel bad. <laughs> don't feel bad when one of the greatest minds that ever lived didn't finish shit. Like most of his shit isn't finished. He, mm. he just he just explored a lot, and like he can't see it as he was like probably just got bored. You know, he did. He, he did get, get bored. Like, he, he literally you know, said, "I've been I got doing bored. this for the last six months. You know what? Fuck it. Let's move to the new project." Yeah, well, that's me. That's me. Like, I, like I feel like the the amount of businesses I've built over the years, over since two thousand and five. Like, I've done like at least five businesses already. Yeah, it's an and I've only completed one. By completed, I mean I built the business and I sold it. Yeah, hmm. that's that's I've done one only. So yeah. and the, all the other ones, I'm like, that's oh. not the strip joint though, right? I wish it was. Yeah. A strip joint. <laughs> I actually, actually, like, cause my my girlfriend's my business partner, right? Yeah, now. I've actually approached her like, hey, do you want to do a massage plus plus? <laughs> 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 Ooh. She shot me oh, down. Man. She, she oh. shot me down real quick. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> um, but how many before you sold your business? How many businesses did you do before that? So that one was straight after the farm because uh, the farm was three years. Right. And we failed that. By right, the way, right, right. if you if you ever do farming, find a good mentor. Right. Don't do it like the way we did. We like, all oh, right, just go ahead. We just go ahead and just go, go, go gun it kind of thing. Go, go, it go. doesn't work like that because you know how you have you, to take you, it slow and consistent. Mm, yeah. Farming is the epitome of that. Right. right? If you don't, if you're not consistent and you slow can, with it, you're gonna fuck th- things right. up. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's yeah. patience. Yeah, yeah. Because like the last, uh, what destroyed that farm was uh, 
the fact that we switched over too quick to organic. We were conventional chemical. We wanted right. to switch over to organic. And we used 10, 10 of our sheds, 20,000 plants, yeah. converted straight away dirt and everything. But we, we didn't actually like uh, convert the, the outside of it because you have to keep, keep it clean right. to keep the pests out. And then within like a couple of months, 20,000 plants gone, just like that. Wow. Took us money. Enough. That's yeah. Yeah. You just, yeah. One, one plant, one plant can produce about 10 boxes and, te- uh, and one box is about 20 to $60 a box, depending on like, uh, depending on the season. Right, right. Yeah. It's good money. It, it is good money. Like, um, so it's not MJ though, right? Oh, <laughs> there's money there too. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm just thinking, ching, 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 ching. I'm just yeah. opening right now. So I'm just picking his brain like Gold Bay, yeah. uh, mushroom, you yeah, know. T- tomatoes? Yeah. Tomatoes? Hydroponics? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so how about yeah. you, Ron? No business, as you no, mentioned earlier no, on, no, no business coming on front. No. So, you know, f- for me, it's always been a, a, a pretty straight path. You know, get a job, um, do well, save money, make money, and that that's pretty much it. But then, you know, as I mentioned, the last two or three years since getting closer to Fung and, you know, having these discussions about what... Um, Massage plus plus? That that was not on the <laughs> list uh, until now. <laughs> but, but certainly, like, you know, business was something that wasn't on my mind until, you know, the last couple of years. So now I'm, I'm thinking, you know, if I have... If I, you know, save up a little bit of money. I can maybe try something. I don't know what that is yet. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I certainly would like to car wash do something and ladies. No man, car like you've got ladies. some detailing, uh, detailing skills, man. I just need, oh, a, I just need the car. ladies. Yeah. To Thomas said we need the hard ladies. Oh yeah, to rub your titties against it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, man, it's against my religion. I can't go. There. Oh my oh. god, you're in your religion. Wow. <laughs> now we're in the topic of religion. Yeah, yeah. Pause the podcast. Okay, if you are listening on your phone, pick it up right now. Go on to your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, get us at the B-Side Word. And did you know that we actually record these with video as well? You can find us on YouTube, again, at the B-Side Word. And we would love it if you subscribe. Uh, subs- uh, I can't even speak. A subscribe. Uh, yeah, there we go. The if remix. you want, you can leave us some comments. We love to engage. <laughs> And you know what? Let me ask you this. If you do follow us on any of these already, what is it you would like to see from us? Leave us some comments. Let us know. What he said. What he said. Subscribe. I can't say the word for some reason. Subscribe. And pause the podcast. Yeah. Now the question is... Tell me the story of the escape room. Like, what's the rope? Escape rope. 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 Oh, rope. Escape rope. Watch out, watch out. Hey. The rope, the rope. Watch the, the rope. thing. Rope, 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 rope. <laughs> relax, relax. It's only, <laughs> rope. it's only me. The escape rope. Um, you want to do this? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll do it. it. So, um, I, I don't really know what your age group is, but when I was younger, I was playing Pokemon. Um, and every time you want to get out of a, a cave, you have to use the escape rope. You use it and you go straight to like a Pokemon Center to oh, heal shit. your Pokemons. Oh, shit. So yeah. you pretty much just want to... So for us, it was kind of like an analogy of um, this is something that we want to do once a week to take us out of our day-to-day. Yep. Our week-to-week. This is something that we just want to talk about, something we'll enjoy. And um, maybe if other people listen to it, this could be their escape rep as well. They just listen to it and... Oh, damn. Yeah, there was a, there, that, I think that became that became it. Like the initial uh, initial... The initial idea was like to take people out of the nine to five yeah. and get into the like the path where it defines the characters right. and actually like find out what they really love in life mm, like yeah. as opposed to like always grinding the nine to five, always have a structure sort of uh, life yeah, yeah, yeah. mindset sort of thing. So yeah, that's, that was the escape rope when we... Uh, I can vibe with that because yeah. uh, I understand that nine to five, uh, it, it's a grind. Like a if grind. you continually just get into that mindset mm. but um i i yeah i vibe with that because yeah. a lot of people they their their whole life is nine to five yeah right? and it's then true. after after five o'clock they go home maybe see the family and routine it's a put routine on tv that's that's their life it's a routine and and um it was like that that was kind of my life as well before jiu-jitsu i was like i'm not really doing anything after work i'm just chilling sometimes i work out Need an escape you, you know that the like I don't know if it's sad, but f- I don't know it's sad, but I'm gonna say it's sad. Um, the the nine to five right is is like you go home and you, but after fifty years of working, and then you retire and then you go, mm. and there's so many people that don't have a hobby. 
yeah. because their life was the nine to five. Exactly. Yeah. And then they're like, "What do I do now?" You and became it's like, workaholic. Bro, yeah. What do you, What were you doing? But like, you had your whole life. You tell me you didn't do anything. All your focus was. Work, 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 work. Yeah, that scares me. That uh, when I was in IT, uh, one of the things that scares me the most is like when I talk to some of the clients, they're like, "Oh yeah, I've been I've been doing this uh, same job, same position for thirty years." And I'm like, "What? Yeah, thirty years in the yeah. same position? I can't even last two mm. years, not yeah. even sort yeah, right, of thing, right?" right? So I, I don't understand like how people cannot see that that they need to find something outside of this whole structure. It's that so it's the narrative that's though, the right? reason why and I found it really interesting. Like you know, during the the COVID when the first wave hit, and a lot of people were like, "Oh shit, I got to work from home now. Hmm. What do I do? There's no structure. No one's telling me what to do. I'm freaking out." And a lot of them, uh, so some of my friends were telling me like, "I need to go back to work." I'm like. What do you mean? You, yeah. you got the best time of your life right now. Yeah. But what do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah the I problem is you, they can't yeah. function well when they're yeah. married because it became a routine. That's yeah. that we go back earlier on. That's like their only discipline in and life, right? It, uh, it, not even a discipline. It's a routine it's because a discipline routine, is different. Yeah. Because you can still f up at work, right? That's true. That's yeah. why it's not. It's not a. It's not a discipline. There's no accountability when you fuck S- up at work as well. You know. True. The nine to five. There's always someone to 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 to. Mm go to to help right, you right, right, right. so yeah. that's why the question is if you love what you're doing is it money do you like do you like the 95 because you're doing it for the money yes yeah like, there's no other reason why like oh, why would you make someone this. else rich so like the whole thing is you're making someone else rich like i <clears throat> i don't know like it's 100 percent the money <laughs> so would you give it up for the, the with no money no, I meant for the things. It's like, for example, for example, what passion that you have right now that yeah, you want to yeah, yeah. focus on, right? I yeah. want to be a strip strip dancer. Oh, man. <laughs> Magic Mike, <laughs> I ride that pony. <laughs> Genuine. So, uh, so what I'm trying to say is, if you have something and you believe on it, would you mm. give it up? Would you give it you a dep- 95? Dep- depends how deep the. It's like the, you. The I'm is. gonna look at this guy. All right. All right. To me, I look up uh, to you. You're here right now. It doesn't matter how many projects that you've done. Mm-hmm. You did five different uh, businesses compared to others who are still 95. But you have your own time. Do you love it? You said you failed, but the question is, would you like going back to your IT? Of course not. I can, but I don't want to. There you yeah, go. That's the thing that I can. And are you? You, are, you, 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 you say that like, but when I I. I when I internalize, I'm like, you failed at five different projects. Ah, uh, no. I think that's, it's so weird the way I think about yeah, things. Right, but anyways. Right. Same goes to me, yeah. like to me in marketing, and I've, I've worked with a lot of company, right? Yeah. I've worked with a lot of uh, tier one in the company, mm. and I've failed so much in there, but it's a job. It's part of the job. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, you get paid a lot, but at the same time, the amount of pressure that you get every day, they don't, they don't, you can't compensate that. But if you're doing something, you know, I love coaching. My, he said, the, someone said to me, Darius, is it hard? Fuck yeah. But if I'm going to compare it, uh, compare it to my previous job, that the pressure, I'd rather do this because I'm still getting, it's not about the money mm. anymore mm. because I'm relaxed. I'm more clearer, you know. Mm. Why do you, yeah? Why go back to the other job? Because I gotta pay bills. I gotta, the, you know, the more you work, oh, I see what you're saying. You get me? Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. But 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 if you minimize that, if you're satisfied what you have, mm. then if you grow that your business, mm. you just yeah, won the game. Fair enough. That's me. Yeah, so. I think um, I, I I've just sort of gone to a realization that that there's really a limit on how far up the corporate ladder I really really want to go I, I've been there <laughs> trust me I've like, been there yeah. I, 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 literally I, I that's why I, would, I got shifted to India because <laughs> that's the reason why I I thought I was going to get the next position Yeah, and it was been promised four years hmm. I literally lick suck whatever you want to say in job seven Ooh. days a week traveled and all, all <clears throat> part of uh any part of uh, Australia mm. you You've been sucked and licked was that um, I'm trying then <laughs> the, then after that you couldn't get a job you, yeah. could, you, can't, you couldn't get the redundant because of your high package oh you know what we got a position for you go back to India hmm. till they make you bleed you know? Jeez. 
Then, yeah. you know, I yeah. was like, you reach that goal, then suddenly what happened? Oh, man. So, but... How, how long, in, sorry, in, how long have you been a Sparky? 17. 17, 17 years. years. 17 years. That already scares me. <laughs> 17 years. Yeah. That's um. That's the reason why business? I... No, no, no. no. I, I work for um the uh, regulators. Okay. Yeah, utility. So... Uh, but with 17 years under your belt, like, you'd, you'd have enough experience to start your own, like... Uh, Mine's mine's not um residential. Mine's not residential. Oh, isn't it? No, no, no. Mine's oh, okay. u- utilities. Oh, so right, it's, right, right. Uh, yeah, it's so not easy to start. We need him mm. when we open our cultivating mushroom. And <laughs> so we just I need those grow lights, yeah, LEDs. Yeah. Happy yeah. anyway, bro. <laughs> so we get the right I'll guy. Keep, I'll yeah. Yeah. I'll keep in touch. Uh, electricity, free electricity. Yeah. <laughs> just straight into the straight, grid. Straight into the <laughs> grid. <laughs> straight to the grid. <laughs> straight to the grid. Yeah. It's yeah, but that's why. Don't think about. Uh, everyone has their own failures. Yeah, but I, I, I said to myself, if I'm gonna keep up, think about being failing, mm. I, I think it's just a hurdle. Mm. Mm. All right. What? You married? No. You single? No. <laughs> Open minded. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, guys. <laughs> we know. I never heard, uh, I never heard that third question ever. <laughs> It's, it's uh, that time. Here we yeah. go. Here we go. That's what I was waiting for. Here, here. <laughs> One shot down here. <laughs> no. But it, it's it's tough, right? Like if you have all these aspirations, do something else, but then you know you got a you got a mortgage, you got a family. Mm, yeah, that's, yeah. You can't really put put down. You know your your nine to five. Uh, yeah. So like when uh, we we're talking earlier, how many hours you're willing to 60. work in that, right? Like yeah. when I um. Man, because like, you know, it's Kay- I was talking about Casey Neistat and, yeah, yeah. and I was learning how to edit videos and right. stuff. Man, like, so a five minute video, I don't know, it takes, I don't know how long it's supposed to take, two hours to edit or whatever, right? It takes time, Bro. yeah. My, I was editing, learning while editing. So I'd edit and I'd go, I want this. Mm. I'd stop editing and I'd go on YouTube and I'd learn the tutorial, which took 40 minutes, right, to learn. And I'd be like, all right, now I'll execute it. I do that little bit that's like literally a little transition <laughs> or whatever, right? And then I'd be like, all right, let's continue editing. And I'll be like, no, I want this in there. <laughs> it's another I, I, 40 I feel, minutes. I feel your pain because I'm exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. So like I never finished an edit. Like a, I never finished the edit for like three weeks, but I learned like so many skills. Mm-hmm. So I was like, it was it was good and bad at the same time because I got frustrated with not completing, completing mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. You're like Da Vinci. No, yeah. <laughs> da Vinci. <laughs> 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 you never anything. Mr. Leonardo in the house. Uh, what, uh, is there any... Um, any books or movies you've been that's been like I want to watch uh, Tenant whenever that comes out. What the hell is that? It's Tenet. like that new uh, Christopher Nolan movie. Is it like like I saw the poster of it? Is that Christopher the, Nolan's the one that directed Batman, right? Batman, Interstellar, Inception. Uh, yeah, all, all of those Inception. movies. Yeah. Is he doing Inter- Interstellar two? Uh, I don't think so. Two? There's number two. Oh, oh, no idea. No. Man, like. Sorry, uh, that's I'm, a good I'm movie. Wait, when, you spark really? up, when you spark up and watch that movie, it's like total mind. I'm just saying. Guys, <laughs> uh, uh, there's one person that I've always rang up. I think I've watched Inception for the uh, I think more than 15 times. What? I love that movie. Really? It's such because, a good no, movie. No, no, no. The reason why I don't fucking get it. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. I was like, oh, okay. You've known me how I watch movies. Yeah, yeah, it takes yeah, yeah, yeah. a while. Yeah. Then I go, I don't know. He went to a dream, to a dream, to a dream. Hmm. Thinking, but then he got. The, uh, I just went skip. Let's. I think on the last part, he opened the vault. What you missed? No, wait, you no, skipped? No, 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 no. I've seen. Let's say skip. He went to the last part. I'm going to the last part now. When he opened the vault. Hmm. What? What the fucking message? Was it a fucking uh, fan? I, I don't remember now, but um, I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, remember he, because they hmm. were asking his. They were in the snow. He went to another dream state. Was it something to do with like uh, how he got mistreated by his dad? No, no. Something? See, I'm the. What was it's, the information? It's, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've while. got to come back to that. Yeah. Dude, I, I just know. watched it last weekend again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why. Yeah. Because over then on the on the end part, the spinners or spindle way. Yeah, whatever. yeah. That's, that was that that part is actually up for interpretation. So is it real or not real? That's up for interpretation. It's up to you. you that's know, that's you why. Can... That's, that's why that's I how, hated it. Yeah. That's why I go. I go. They wasted. They went to a dream state, the first stage. Then he got shot. Yama or the Japanese got shot. Yeah, yeah. Then okay, do do you survive that? They have to go to another dream state. Then I think they went to the hotel. They couldn't get it. They went again. The other, you know, he he had to rescue the Japanese guy. Yeah. There's like four different dreams mm. on literally what 
fucking 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, mm. the fuck? When they opened the vault, I go, where's the code? Oh, you, know, you, you, you could have just Googled explanation. No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Watching it 15 no, times. Just go to Reddit. Reddit will it's have it that, for that's you. That's the reason why Reddit's I don't crazy. Google. I Reddit is crazy. Yeah, I love the, Reddit. Do you know how smart people are to, to, to come up with some of these explanations? I On know. Reddit? Yeah. Yeah, oh, fuck. I love Reddit. Yeah, so, Reddit. yeah, that's it. That's what. That's why I said, oh, man, that's why I know Christopher Nolan because he does a lot, makes a lot of good movies. Yeah. Reddit, Reddit's an ugly platform. Like, it to doesn't look, look good. At, yeah. It it's looks, just a it simple works. chat. It, it works. works. It's it just works. a simple chat or feedback, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Reddit? Like yeah. there's nothing. It's not catered for. It's not catered for images or anything like that. No. It's just, just literally uh, yeah. just like information, word vomit. Yeah. That's yeah, all yeah. it is. Even the gifs are shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the gifs look shit on that. <laughs> you say gif, gif. Isn't that gif? Gif. Oh, is it gif? Uh, is it everybody gif calls gif. Is it gif? Everybody calls gif. Yeah, gif. It's, it's gif, but everybody calls everybody calls gif. You I are. thought you gif guys. was the the fucking cleaning product. It is. It's gif. It's like when a pe- when people were saying vlog, I was saying vlog for the longest time. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Is it vlog? No, no, no. It's, it's vlog now. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, so it's right. like vlog or blog. Blog's yeah. the written one. Yeah. Okay, okay. Go, get back, get back, get back, get back. Right, right. So the blog. Yeah. All right, old man, let's go. Yeah. The <laughs> blog. Blog's blog was around. Yeah, I know. Long, long, long time. time. That's why. What is it? Now? So the vlog is the video one, right? Is so it's basically if you're pointing camera at yourself and walking around talking to the camera. Think so, Casey knows that. Are we talking about blog or vlog? <laughs> We're talking about vlog. 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 Okay. Fuck, I'm just lost. Fuck it. Fucking yeah. fellow accents. So, <laughs> so uh, all I know, that's why I said, when you talk about stats and all this thing, I go, I'm just lost already. Mm-hmm. So. What are, we talking, what are we talking about? Movies? Movies. movies. Yeah. Movies. What so, about Christopher, Christopher Nolan? Oh, Tenet. Oh, Tenet. I saw the, yeah, coming back to that, mm. I saw the um the poster. I, I, I'm like, is this another Inception? Is that is that what it, it is? It looks kind of cool, like the, yeah. the concept. So yeah. I thought about oh. well, it. I'm, I'm actually excited about the Tesla movie. Uh, with, uh, it's a test? With oh, it's a Tesla movie. Benedict Cumberbatch. I, I know, it's I like heard it. of it. I heard of it. Mm. Yeah, there's this Tesla movie. There's quite a lot of good movies, but they're delaying. I just want to see Maverick. Top what? Gun. Oh, what Top Gun 2? Oh, Top Gun. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys were young. So I, I've uh, never watched Top Gun, so the first one. It's, uh, it I made me laugh, right? Like and so it made me laugh because they had a scenario. So out of the Top Gun, the first Top Gun, this was 35 years ago. Literally 35 Jeez. years ago. That, f- no yeah. way. Yeah. 35. 30, th- 1989, something like that. 30 really? years, yeah. Hmm. So, so th- the only cast is Tom Cruise, and the, like for example, her leading lady is really, really, really old now. Right, right, right. yeah, yeah. And because Tom Cruise is really, really young, rip. Yeah. Even now, is rip as fuck, yeah. right? Yeah, so, Scientology. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you got something there, man. So yeah. it's, yeah, like, you, know, you know, speaking of like old movies, right? I'm actually quite fascinated with the fact that they're actually remaking movies from the 90s. Yeah, mm. that was the, the, a good time. There's yeah, a lot the of remakes. remakes. But, the, but the thing is, in the 90s, there were movies from the, like back then as well. They were remaking it. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. we're like, we're seeing another cycle. Right. We're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> it's you true. know? It's true. Oh my God. So, going to that, that's yeah. what, where was I? Fuck, I'm lost now. You know, I'm not, I'm sorry, bro. We'll talk about remakes. Yeah. I like the, I like the new, uh, Blade Runner. That was like a couple no, of years ago. Shit. I like that. I never watched the first one. 2049? Yeah. yeah, yeah when I, did, I didn't was like shit. it. I, I thought I it was cool. I didn't like it. I didn't mm-hmm. like it. The first, uh, what's his name? The pretty boy? Um, uh, Harrison Ford? No. No, 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 no. Ryan Gosling. Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. Yeah. yeah. When I said go, oh man, then he, the first ma- uh, the first fight scene with uh, Dave Batista, I go, oh, that was cool. Fuck, this was shit. This was shit. I got Did you watch the first one? Yeah, the first one's okay with Harrison yeah. Ford. I don't even seen that so, one. Yeah, I stopped watching Star Wars because it, it never ends. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that one's it's finished. No, it's not. There's a continuation. Is it? They're gonna continue. Yeah, with yeah, they'll do more. They're gonna do more. Like, the more Disney, Disney, Disney branches. Disney, it branches out. Disney is literally killing the franchise right now. Really? Yeah. They're just trying to milk it. Yeah, they're milking it. So yeah, I'm just lost. I was like, which one's the first one? Which was the last one? You know. I'm just lost. Don't worry about it. It's it's a whole universe. It's basically like Marvel. How Marvel. They, they got like a huge universe. Mm. You'll never understand. See, it. Marvel. Uh, I've started because they had their timeline, right? So you can see which one the Black Widow was supposed to come out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. because of COVID, never yeah. came out because after there were there was a couple uh, the ants or whatever it may be. So it, I was following X Men because due to what's his name uh, Ryan Reynolds Deadpool. Oh yeah, yeah. The timeline changed <clears throat> because apparently, dead. Uh, uh, Has it changed? Yeah, 
it has changed it, because it of changes Deadpool. all the time though. Like that's not new. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. No, this but time it changed the freaking now uh, what happens because of Deadpool. Is there a parallel? It's not a change. Uh, is it's it? a parallel or I don't know. I was reading or reading something like that. It's they just, weren't intermix. Deadpool and um. Uh, well, no, this this the reason why? Did you like uh, oh, sorry, did when you when it? Deadpool came to the last part, yeah. you know, when he goes Logan, you you know, because Logan doesn't die. Yeah, but you he don't does see die in Logan though. Yeah, yeah, he no, does no, in Logan because for the poison. It's a poison really from um, his, the, own, bones, his own bones. Yeah. So that's why there's going to be, the, because of that, the timeline changes. Yeah, yeah, right. Right? right. So th- that's why they're casting the new Logan. Who's right. who's going to be playing new Logan? Uh, I, no I don't idea. think anyone can match, uh, what's his name? Hugh, uh, Jack Hugh, Hugh Jack. No, no he's, way. He's, he's got it. He's got oh, it the, the, first, the first. It's like Iron Man. Like no one is going to take his position. Mm. It's like, how about Batman? Oh, no. Nah, Who's Batman. the best Batman? Uh, to me, the best Batman. Yeah. The first one. Uh, Michael Keaton. Yeah. Beca- uh, Michael, <laughs> Michael Keaton. Keaton. Just, oh, yeah. no. That, that's not the first one. That was like in the, in the 90s, right? Yeah. That, no that one was pretty what good. Was the I like that one. No one it's like the 40s or yeah. whatever. Oh. No, no. With Michael Keaton's the 90s. The, yeah. The, yeah, not 90s. No, uh, the first, it's just the different outfit. Mm. Okay. But with uh, that... He, he, Ben he Affleck is the best one. Nah. <laughs> 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 oh, he was ripped oh, <laughs> I'm pushing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> um, How many Batman did he do already? Who? Ben Affleck? Yeah, one? one. Two. No, I, th- I oh, think... Oh, yeah, two. Because Justice of League, ju- right? And no, no, no. Justice one. League uh, squad. Oh, Justice he, League, yeah, yeah. Justice League and then and the, the squad, uh, Batman squad. and Let's whatever. Let's just be honest. Like, no one's going to be able to do Batman. Nah. It's like, it's... Wait, did the... Uh, what's oh name? yeah, the new Batman what's is the name? the new what's his Robert name? Pattinson. Robert yeah, Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. I can't believe it. No, no. Yeah. thank you. Yeah, he's, that's I'm why sorry. he's doing no. jujitsu. He's doing. He's bulking up. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Then he has his magic wand. When, uh, <laughs> uh, he comes, it's not Harry Potter. He's, uh, he comes out. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it? Like this, uh, Chris, Chris, Chris something. Oh, that played, uh, 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 the Jack guy that plays uh, American Psycho. Oh yeah, I Christian Bale. Christian yeah, Bale. he was a pretty good. He was a pretty good. Yeah, he was a good Batman. Dark Knight, right? Dark Knight, right? It's pretty good, right? Yeah, that was a good movie. <laughs> it always kills me their accent when they try to put on the Batman accent. <laughs> they go deep. <laughs> Don't they go deep? <laughs> they go deep. Yeah. yeah. It's so weird. Though. It's so. Weird. It, it's really weird. That's funny. Um. Uh. One. One movie that I didn't think I would enjoy, but stopped. And it like really got my imagination going. Ready Player One. Have you watched? Oh that? yeah, I did. Yeah, Have yeah. you read the book? No, I haven't. Bro, pl- like please read the book like on on, Audi- on Audible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you ever get it's a chance, to check it out. It's so much better. Really? So much better than the movie. Okay. Well, it's usually the case, but like, it was good. It, Don't get me wrong. The movie. <laughs> the movie was the good. The movie was good. They did it. So, they did some justice to the to the book, but they could have done more. Right, right. Mm. right. It's a good, it's a good movie. It's a good like yeah. I've, I've seen it on Netflix. I'm uh, not Netflix. Prior to the Netflix, I've seen it. Um, mm. I think when I was coming back from Hong Kong last right. year, that was okay. it. Was a good movie. It was, good movie. It was okay. Ima- imagine all the licenses that they must have got, like yeah, gone around to get to, yeah, to get yeah, all of those yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, right. all of those companies to come in, right? I um, want to watch the new Kevin Hart, but it's in not in Netflix. There's a new uh, Kevin Hart. Yeah, being it's a he wants to be an action star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he go. It's but it's not in Netflix. It's in QB or the new streaming or oh. whatever. You know what? I prefer him as an actor than a comedian. Really? Yeah. He's okay as a comedian. He's okay. It's, he's not the funniest as a comedian, no. to be honest. Yeah. Like lately, he hasn't. But his early shit was like yeah. I was I was rolling around. Really? Like yeah. yeah, there's a there's a skit um of him in doing the NBA All Stars. Mm. Yeah, but oh, like he, that. He's really good at those. Yeah. yeah, and he was do- man. I'm telling you, look it up YouTube. Kevin Hart, NBA All Stars, and he kills Shaq's, Shaq's Wait, when, when he's reaction. like roasting people. Yeah, he's really good at he's that. So okay, good. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah we there's we a lot of, a lot of we comedians. Talking about this, like the, uh, delirious. Have you seen the? Uh, uh, yeah, that we need to get that, that. That leads on to culture cancel. Have you culture you, cancel 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 culture, 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 culture cancel? <laughs> uh, mine's different. That's a new name for it. <laughs> <laughs> have you? That's exactly like um. Uh, it leads on to that because you he have you ever watched Delirious? Yeah, man. That that's, he doesn't really that's raw. Is that the one where he's actually in the middle of the stage? Uh, no, no, Eddie Murphy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He wears a red jumpsuit. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was, that's classic. That's classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you're, that's, that's, if you're into a comedy, that's a classic one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But watch, if you, we were talking about this like, uh, the yeah. last podcast or the last week we had a chat. Cancel culture. Cancel culture, yeah. Cancel, all right. <laughs> what's, ca- what's cancel culture? No, look, go, go on. I'll, I'll lead so into it. So the amount of words that he uses, <laughs> yeah. you can't use it now. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Like, I think that the last the last person that i that is able to do that is probably uh dave Chappelle. andrew really? schultz does it 
He does it all the time. Have you heard of Andrew Schultz? I don't think no, he cares. I've actually though. never he's, heard of him. Is Andrew Schultz the white guy, right? The and tall one, yep. No, no, no. He's got a massive mo. I don't know if he's got a, Actually, Andrew Schultz, look him up. He yeah. is, he's on that pa- on par with them. Yeah. Just saying shit that you're like, man, are you allowed, are you allowed to say that now? That's, but that, it sucks how we have to think like that. I know. Mm. Bro, I'm, in my head, I'm like dissing everybody. Yeah. Like, hey, I guys, am. That's why I said it's raw. Yeah. Raw. But, but like, <laughs> like, uh, like, I'm all right. This this as much as you want, right? Yeah, I'm open to getting this as well. Right, that's the equal. Like it's equal. Like right. you can say whatever you want to me, sure. but listen, if you're gonna say shit to me, Jeez. I'm saying it back to you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. and that's back. all. And it's like you left it. You leave it on the table. You leave it on the mat, wherever it is. You don't take it personal. That's There's it. a lot of people that are just. That's why, why would you take things personal? Like that's that's why I don't understand. Like it's just when people usually disses you, it's usually something to do with like the, your stereotype. Yeah, right? it's yeah. Th- most of the time it is. And yeah. wh- the thing is, why I, I don't understand the fact that people are going to get offended by that stuff, sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know, but there must be some reason. Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to know why. But <laughs> Eddie that's, Murphy, <laughs> he, uh, that's he kills what he kills. There's that, like the f word in there that you can't even see it right mm. now. It's just you like, better download that stuff before yeah, they take, take yeah. it down. From before the they take it off Netflix. Yeah, yeah. you got to you got to watch it before you watch it on Netflix. It's so. stupid. It's it's very stupid. Like yeah. at the moment, I've actually been contemplating the whole Ellen de, 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 DeGeneres. DeGeneres. I, I don't know what's happening with that. What's happening with that? <laughs> apparently, oh, apparently oh. Like she's too mean. Like seriously, yeah. is, that, is that what people like? I, I don't think it's like, just her. I think it's like the executives that run her the show. The culture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and she's taking the whole blood of it, like brunt of it. She's the head. She's yeah. the figure. Like okay. she's the owner. She's copping the money. Like she's yeah. getting all the money. Yeah. Like the, you know that that thing. Like uh, Abby, my girlfriend, actually told me like she did something like you, she left like a whole bunch of free shit on the table, and then like the sign says take one. Yeah. Apparently, like she set up a camera to see who would actually like grab all <laughs> right, of it. Right, and right. this Mexican lady just like took a whole bag of yeah, it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And a. Uh, and apparently that that lady, I think, sued her or, or complained to her that she got humiliated and this and that. I'm like, oh, because what? She, they showed it on the yeah, show they showed or it. Something. Yeah, but oh, they take right. one. Hey, that's what I mean. Like, it just it says clearly that take, take one. Take one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, why? I mean, I'll I'm be honest. Not, I would have taken a few. Hey, <laughs> me, free. That's the thing. Me too. And that, that, and and you're gonna go around and and, and play the victim because yeah, you've yeah, done yeah. the wrong thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go out there. My mom takes shit from hotels all the time. <laughs> you know those free slippers? Yeah, they're in the back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you know, never know. You never know. We you need, need those it, slippers. <laughs> Something similar, but not at the same now, level. There was one, we're talking about that one. There was a in Bali, the whole family in India. Did you see that? <laughs> they, 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 you know, they were like on the last day. Yeah, on the last day. So they took. The brush, they took the clock, they took the hangers, they what? took the screen, they, got, they took the vase, they took everything, right? <laughs> so, man, when they, the guy, the, the father goes, no, we didn't take anything. Oh, they opened that, like, three different language. <laughs> it's wow, so the lampshade. You, you go watch it on YouTube. Uh, it was embarrassing. Yeah. So, we're going to miss our flight. No, we're going to jail. You go to jail because, mm. because, because <laughs> he, he criticized on the room attendant because when the room attendant there's nothing in me there's not even a <laughs> there's nothing in there fucking okay. and there's nothing to clean there's, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no blanket yeah, there's no yeah. nothing oh, that's mm. amazing that's am- that's amazing. made me laugh then the balls of the parents the husband and wife were screaming at the concierge or whatever you want to call it, or the hotel guest I'm, I don't want to say I'm stereotyping but like Indians play that card a lot what the getting angry at you like they, because they're the victim. Yeah. They to their strategy of getting away from being the victim is to yell back at like at the person. Right. Like, be aggressively yell back at I, them. So have you got a lot of experience from this? Uh, yeah. yeah so because okay. he's probably had a shop. That's why. I had a shop. I had a shop. Like yeah. and people. Like, watch get, him get cancelled, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I'm saying, like people get like really mad at you when they think that they're wrong. Yeah. Right. A boho. Reason. A boho. Mm. Is that true? Oh, who? A boho. <laughs> oh, no. Aboha is pretty cool, man. I like, like Aboha. We're that, cool. <laughs> so, so Ron, g- give me the um, give me the definition of culture, cancel culture. So oh, wait, wait, wait. Cancer culture? No, cancel. 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 cancel culture. Cancel. Cancel. Yeah, cancel. As in cancel. Cancel. Yes. Like you okay. get canceled. Take it, like off. Take it yeah. off the line, sort of. Thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like say if if you have a show and three years ago you said something that wasn't nice to somebody, that say let's say you said a word which yep. now you can't say. Yep. And they say they find that that tweet or that post or whatever. And like, no, this guy said this. He's not a good person. 
nobody should like watch his shit and he should get cancelled. Oh, like his show should get cancelled. Because he just mentioned that word once. Yeah. Once. So I think a, a, a pretty a, a pretty good um example was uh um Kevin Hart. With the he got uh, Oscars. He, Oscars, yeah, yeah. He got cancelled. So he was supposed to host um the, the Oscars. Next, yeah, uh, yeah this, and then, was, um, this was going back a few years, eh? A few years ago. Yeah. And then they some somebody looked at like a tweet from like five six years ago or whatever like that like 1999 yeah it was a while ago <laughs> and um yeah they, they, they thought hey this guy said this thing that wasn't very nice and uh he shouldn't he shouldn't have this uh have, have this role and then he he didn't get it which sucks yeah because it's something it that sucks. you said like you know 10 years ago I and mean, we've all said something that wasn't nice 10 Man. years ago right like, yeah, so hopefully you would have like, grown this, from that this is an extreme yeah. this is an extreme case but uh louis ck <laughs> yeah what <laughs> is he still around he's still like he, i think he's yeah. making like but he's got a couple of shows Who? coming right, out. Right, okay. yeah. uh, what's it called? Um, Louis C.K. Fuck, I'm old. I'm old as fuck. No, well, no he's he, old he's too. He's old, man. He's old, bro. Or maybe I'll be... I'll but see. anyways, he got cancelled. Right? I mean, like, this is probably pretty, pretty legit. Yeah, well, but, that's rightfully so. Yeah. He was cancelled. He, okay. he got cancelled because, like, his his uh, his shtick was to, like, ask women if he could, like, wank in front of them. Oh, that's oh, wrong. That's, that's wrong. too much. Yeah, yeah that's, that's too much. That's, that's, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, an extreme yeah. example, but, yeah, like, the, the idea is, like, if you take it, it that's that's extreme, but, like, if you take it to, to say... That, uh, that's not extreme. That's stupidity. It's mm-hmm. it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's like, it's on weird. the level yeah. of, what's his face? Um, Old guy. Black guy. Family, family guy. <laughs> who drugs... Girls. Oh Cosby, oh, yeah Cosby. Oh, yeah, Cosby. oh that's, that's that's beyond cancer. That's like man. beyond. That's like, no, that's, right, right that's, that's, that's crime. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, he, yeah. is he doing time now? Uh, oh, Bill yeah. Cosby. Cosby's dead, isn't he? No, no. Mm. Oh, is he? No, no, no. Oh shit. Oops. No, no, so no, no, is no. he? He's acquitted, right? I don't. I don't know. I find out whether that leads on to another question that I've had. That I've been. It's been whizzing around in my head, right? Like, so that's effed up what Cosby did, right? Sure. Effed up, but I grew up on him. Yeah, but me too. And like, it's it's this funny. It's um, a family guy. It's right. Yeah. So we have this image of like perfection in our head. Like Cosby was like the ultimate dad, because mm. he'd listen to you, but he was funny. He'd be strict, he's firm, but fair. Mm. You know, it's this ultimate image we have mm. of superstars, right? And then later on, you hear that they do some dumb shit, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> Drugging Damn someone, it, man. Yeah. This guy, I looked up to this guy. Mm. I like, I, I idolized, somehow yeah. idolized and did some of like how I wanted to be mm. based on this guy. But does does it does it, does hearing that the fact that he's this kind of person does it reevaluate what you, what you? So think? that's why it's still whizzing around in my head. That's Is why it? I'm bringing it to the table. Like that saying, like I go, but he was good. Like in my head, he's still that same guy. Can the thing is like if you preach something, yeah, and. Like is it Rich, is, If it's a good message And you've internalized it yeah. What does it matter If the person does What he does Because then it shows That um, it, it it shows that It was bullshit Oh yeah Because mm. uh, You know what I mean Yeah Like it's like I still Like for example it's, with, it's, mm, go ahead. Sorry So like If he was like If someone's like um On a kid show And he's a rock spider That's effed up mm-hmm. A rock you know spider what I mean? Pedo Oh is that a, a no, rock spider? Oh, no, a rock I, I, I was trying to figure no, out what a rock spider a No, no, no. What I'm saying is a rock spider. What's a rock spider? I don't know what the is, rock is. Is that a new term? No, 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 no. I'm learning today. I mean, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sunny, uh, Rona, rock, rock spider, rock spider. Oh, that's yeah. No, wow. my my guy is Michael Jackson. I I I loved his message. Hmm. What was his message? Well, save the world, heal the world, heal the world. <laughs> Make it a better place. I grew up with that guy, but yeah, rock spider, rock spider, pedo. Yeah, derived analogy that a pedophile, like a rock spider. Yeah. Okay, hey, you know the, a term that I recently learned was chomo. What's a chomo? Child molester. Oh right, yeah, chomo. that's you know new that. as well, bro. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah, right. But anyways, like, I, I don't know. I, ha- I have a hard time. Like, yeah, I have a hard time with that uh, that thinking as well. Okay, you know, because you know, you put these people like the the way I think about it is that like, you put these people on a pedestal. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure up there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like yeah. that, you know, I, I was on the way here, I was listening to um, uh, Joe Rogan's with uh, David Cho. Like, I got to that part about with um, Bourdain. Yeah. Right. So these people get to this level, right? And p- everybody's got an expe- expectation of them. Yeah. Right. So even if you have a li- little flaw, that, that little flaw is going to amplify. Yeah, you gotta. There's gotta be an escape somewhere. Mm. And for these people, they got they reached. I mean, back in the eighties, there was nothing. There was no internet or anything like that. So the the, the pressure must must have been immense. They're yeah, solid. Them, yeah. Right? 
So I think they believed the message they were put out there. Yep. But they're also, I mean, we're all human. There's, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, 100%, there's definitely 100%, something. Um, yeah. There's definitely something that's all wrong within us that yeah. we don't talk about, right? And um, I mean, yeah, I think he he was a little bit before my time. But when you say he preached a message, was that on the show or was it also outside of the show? He preached I don't know. Message? It was just on the show, right? It was just right. on the show. Like yeah, so like the reach look, the reach wasn't there back then. Like there was yeah, no internet, yeah. so you're not you're not seeing yeah. the like the uh, IGT live. You know, like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Bill yeah. Cosby. It's none of that shit. You didn't have that reach back then. It, it's it's weird. Like I mean, I don't think in in my personal opinion, I don't think you should discount what they said. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, again, that's why it's like... It's too... F- uh, yeah, you know what I mean? That, like, thinking, that thinking that you have is... Uh, the way, that's something I've been actually talking about a lot is actually living in the gray area, right? Right, so yeah. So looking at things case by case, right. does it does, does the fact that they've done something bad, uh, you know, categorize the whole of their message as bad? Right, you know what I mean? okay, mm-hmm. okay. So you're saying to like separate their message mm-hmm. from the person that they are? Yes. It's kind of like if you have like a, an actor or somebody that you really he, admire, he, but, but then they have an a. Yeah, so so that's but then what I'm, if they have a political position which is completely opposite of yours, yeah. right? Do you still See enjoy that, that work? like Kanye? Yeah. Like Kanye, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or like Kanye else. is like he lost Kanye's his mind. He's, he's 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 lost it. He a lost lot, it. But back in the day, he was a freaking yeah. great uh, great rapper. He, he's yeah. a great yeah. artist. Yeah. Uh, but he, as as you said, mm. he just lost it. Yeah. Well, why why do you think he lost it? Because a lot of people have this bloody expectation of him. You reckon? It's just too much money, I, man. I think so. You reckon no, it was just no, an, it's not. You reckon that. he always he just didn't have an imbalance like his bipolar. Yeah, I think he had that. Oh, yeah, well, probably that's probably amplified. Yeah, yeah. That that little thing just gets amplified. Yeah. Bipolar, tripolar, whatever, quadpolar, maybe hmm. more, maybe more, because <laughs> he's run the man since his last stint regarding him. You know when he was started crying, wearing a bulletproof vest mm. while he was. Cr- was yeah. that Kanye? Or was that Fifty? No, it was Kanye. <laughs> oh man, that man, was Kanye. Fifty is irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. So that was Kanye, and I said, man, and I was wondering what happened to your wife. How come she's not protecting you? You know, mm. I think she does. No, I think she really does. But she, you can only do so. You can't stop someone from talking. You, that's like literally stopping someone from being I know, human. But you, like, <laughs> yeah, because he's running. We he just want look. He has the passion to be running for president. So that's the reason why. Yeah, but that man, man the word that is coming out from his mouth, it's. I don't know if I, I, would, I like. I don't think, I don't think I'd elect him. I, I, think, I think he's doing it for his like self promotion, really. Yeah. I don't I mean, think come he. On, I don't think he realistically yeah. think he's gonna win. He's just doing it for. To himself. compare yourself to Jesus is like, hey, come on. <laughs> yeah. Did he compare himself to Jesus? Well, eh? His his other name is like what Yeezy? Or something? Yeezy. Jesus was like his Jesus. one of his albums or yeah. something. Uh, right? Walk on water. Like it was oh, album. okay. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of his thing. I that's never old, knew. That's yeah, old, yeah, old school. Yeah. yeah. Old school. yeah. So back in two thousand seven. Yeah, it's got some good shit back yeah. then. Yeah, but well, I listen to his music, so there's no bro. But I never yeah, knew there's a. It's just hard to de- define what's good, what's bad. Mm. It's just if you're gonna yeah, like, because if you're gonna they, be on either camp, it's just y- y- there's just too much hate. There's yeah, too yeah, much yeah. outliers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's um, there's a lot of people that are throwing stones from glass houses, eh? Like there's yeah. so many people that think they're perfect. That's a good saying. Sto- it's, throwing uh, stones from glass houses. I just thought about that. Swing. Swing. <laughs> Pause the podcast. Okay, if you are listening on your phone, pick it up right now. Go onto your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, get us at the B Side Word. And did you know that we actually record these with video as well? And you can find us on YouTube again at the B Side Word. And we would love it if you subscribe. Uh, subs- uh, I can't even speak. A uh, subscribe. Uh, yeah, there we that's go. The if remix. you want, you can leave us some comments. We love to engage. <laughs> And you know what? Let me ask you this. If you do follow us on any of these already, what is it you would like to see from us? Leave us some comments. Let us know. What he said. What he said. Subscribe. I can't say the word for some reason. Subscribe. And pause the podcast. Did you see his video, digital videos that we popped out from earlier on that he created? Yeah. For the gym, for the gym, and yeah. some, uh, and also for Mister the Land at Kellerville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great one too. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, that was. Uh, weird. By the way, that was all YouTube stuff, like Devin said. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. All YouTube. I I just learned all of it and just did it. So you just gotta have time, also, hey, yeah. just to. 
gotta, you gotta once you it. once you get in your flow, like when you once you get in your flow of it, like trying to learn something, even that one little bit, even if it takes you like hours and hours, it when you get the final product, it just feels amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It amazing. feels good. Yeah, it feels like it's a sure way to boost your confidence, especially is, yeah. like like it's funny, like you know how you. you when you execute something and you mm. complete it, it's like it's an ego booster. It is. It is. Yeah. Um, it's I've actually another arsenal. Yeah. yeah. So Ron and I have actually been um, exploring like how to be comfortable with like with yourself. Mm. And one of the things I've been like trying to get comfortable with is like receiving recognition. Right. And being comfortable with the fact that I love getting recognition for the things right. that I do. Yeah, yeah. Because in in my thinking, I don't know where I grew from from my upbringing or, or whatnot. I always thought as getting recognition, getting praise as a, a sort of like ego, right? And mm. ego to me was always like something that's bad that should be shunned and like kept away, Yeah. right? So I was like trying to temper it down. And by doing that, I sort of like understood that I kind of found out like it made me unconfident with myself. Where right. like when I talk wow. to people, like I need to be on guard with what I say. Because if I say something that's self, self-righteous, self-boasting, that can be considered as bad. Mm. Yeah. I so, feel you You know what I mean So this is what we've been exploring With the Escape Road podcast At the moment right. Like how to be comfortable With the things that you love About yeah, yeah. yourself Yeah I, We had this discussion You know We had this <laughs> <laughs> Yes on the mic yeah. We're on bad yeah. we, we had this discussion yeah. But Me I, I, I want to be me I know oh. Like when, when I look at you You come in You come into the room Like you, yeah the I am good looking Yeah check me out yeah. Kind of thing no. Check out my pecs So it's no. the same person That yeah. you see me in the gym Yeah I'm not. I can't change. Like people will, people who won't like me, mm. I'm gonna accept that. It's like Jay as well. When he walks into the room, like he's all out there. You know yeah, how yeah, you yeah, know yeah. how he is, right? And I'm looking at. It, I'm like, how do you have the confidence to be out there like that? How do you don't? <laughs> well, how, how don't how, you? How do how don't I like? How don't I? Is yeah. because I feel like if if I put myself out there, people are gonna. Do you look know who you are? In my in my like when I in me, myself. Yeah. Like. Towards you, my girlfriend, like my girlfriend knows which me. Which one? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that your girlfriend knows you. My girlfriend knows me, like the, the the good and the bad. Yeah. But most of the time, when you see me outside and interact with with somebody, like people would usually say, "Oh, Fung's the nicest person out there." But in my mind, I'm like, "Fuck you!" And I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, hmm. it's, it's 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 a weird thing, like to be comfortable with with yourself with yourself, like you are, and like my brother is. Yeah. It's very foreign to me. No, it's. It's yeah. not be. Yeah. I'm just like, am I close? It's good. Can you hear me? Mm. Yeah, I go. <laughs> nah, I just wanna. Yeah. Just be you. Yeah. Well, because that, I don't want. That yeah. sounds easier than than than. Uh, because if if, like, I rather make mistake because of me, mm. but who I am, then I'll learn from it, rather than acting, because you want to act because oh, J, uh, Fung said this. You have no. It's it's really hard because it's not in my system. Oh, is it's it, not in my. Is system. that always like? Is that always in the four four in your, in your head? Yep. Wow. It's like a god that I have. Really? Yeah. And it's one of the reasons why I we, I started the podcast with Ron because I wanted to find out more about this and. Right, right, about how about it. you, bro? Me. Yeah. yeah. So I had something similar to that probably six years ago. Yeah. Same thing, and that's why I created um you know the whole vlog thing. Yeah. I did the whole vlog thing. Oh, I yeah. did it for like every day. For like, you did daily vlog. Daily, not oh, yeah. like it's like a I diary. created a video every day. I didn't do daily vlog. Okay, yeah. And um, the whole point wasn't to become famous, but was to be able to l- look at myself when I edit mm. and go, "That's fucking me." Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Right. I've got to accept who I am because if I don't like who I am, who the hell is gonna like watching this shit? Exactly. So yeah. I did it for the purpose okay. of seeing who I was mm. and going. If I didn't like something. You can't just be a, a, a knob jockey, right? And just go, oh, that's who I am. Nah, man. Like, if you want to change something, change it. Mm. And this is me. Like, it was a full... Conf- <laughs> you can't get any more real than editing your own video, right? And you're just like... I hear myself and I go, I said that? I f- mm. Fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> right. Right. So I started educating myself in shit, right? Mm. I started like... I don't like how I explain stuff. So I learned how to communicate. I learned how to look into the camera. Like I, the way I look into the mirror is like, is the most honest thing you can do. So I kind of look at myself and I go, I go, I'm the greatest in the world. And I look myself direct in the mirror. I go, that's a lie. 
<laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I do that shit because yeah. it's like, like it's a, because I read this book, um, The Stoic uh, by Ryan Holiday. Yeah. The Stoic, good, right? Good book. Good book. And he's saying that you can't, you can't go around shit. You mm. go through shit. You go through your problems. There's nothing, you nothing fall, more better fight. than. Right going, running away. Yeah, mm. not whatever. The, whatever your mechanism was to deal with that problem, Face there is it. nothing more better than going forward. Yeah. Because then you know where you lie. Mm. If you if you keep avoiding it, you don't know where you are in that situation. Yeah. Right. So there's so many times instead of like going into conflicts, nice. I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, if I just avoid it, this shit's still there. <laughs> there's mm. nothing. Nothing's happened. And then I I I I hit, I hit it head on, and I go. Oh, that's where I am on that in that situation. I'm like, I need to work on something. And um, the more I did that, the more I realized other people weren't like the whole woke. You know how people? There are a lot of people that <laughs> I was listening to this Karen video, and she goes, "Now I'm awake." And I'm like, awake. <laughs> <laughs> so like, the more I did that, the more it became a habit. Sure, sure. And then yeah. I was just like, it became who I was. Mm. I don't know. I don't who know if that I helps us. Who I am. Who I am. <laughs> who I yeah. Who I am. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. Like uh, it's it's definitely like I get I get you. It's something I've been working on. It's like been a sort of central topic in what we've been been talking about yeah. on the Escape Road podcast. And like I've been really working on trying to be comfortable with like being the way I am yeah. to, towards people, sort of thing, and not. I thought you were gonna touch touch my kids <laughs> for a second, man. <laughs> Ron, Ron, do you have? Do you have those Moment. anxieties? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you call it? Do you, do you think of it as anxieties? I think any any. I get fear, anxious. Yeah. yeah. Any fear of um yeah, it's anxiety, right? Mm. Yeah. Any fear? All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you do you mask it or do you just? I, I try to mask it with confidence. Yeah. Yeah. But I know, like deep down, I'm I'm anxious. Yeah. I don't know how to get rid of that feeling, but like it, I I don't think it 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 stops me from See, operating. Yeah. yeah. Like I've read this right. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm oh, sorry to cut you in in that one, because our grandparents, when they uh, when they said oh, when they hear all this stress or oh, anxiety or anxious, they would laugh. Yeah, they do laugh. Yeah. They'd fucking laugh because they said, "Are you fucking kidding me, Darius?" And they just laugh because we grew up in a hard shit, and this is, and you telling me you can't do this and you're having anxiety or whatever. This is nothing compared to what we've been through. We've been to the Second World War. We've been to this, mm. this, and yeah, that. But, uh, like, uh, as much as I agree with that, there's yeah. a lot of like, uh, men now, because of that mentality, have a hard time of expressing their emotions. Mm -hmm. And that, that leads on to, it, like, like there was th there was anxiety back then. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But they never got talked about. Yeah, it's just, uh, they, I wouldn't say mass. We, they, we talk about mass. It's just like, yeah, it's far to apply. Man up. Yeah. Mm. Uh, man up. Man up. It's like, Suck it up. And Suck go. it up. Suck Let's it go. Up. Let's yeah. move to the next one, yeah. right? Because we talk about the amount. That's uh, the amount we talk about. Anxious or being anxiety. We having us. I have anxiety. When I see my bills, I get anxious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I shake my hands right away. You yeah. know, but <laughs> when when your grandparents goes, but uh, I'm thinking a uh, different era. Different era. Um, uh, but you know, different, uh, different. You can uh, you can see by their hands. You can just tell what different eras by their hands, like. You, you can tell an era of a guy that had like he worked his whole life yeah. he was a brickie his whole life man like the calluses don't go away hmm. it's, it's literally it's embedded in like his DNA now mm. that's how the deep it. yeah <laughs> it's very soft <laughs> <laughs> you need the softness put for your that headphones on so going back into that that's too hot <laughs> um yeah yeah back to back to you masking all yeah. the confidence so I mean like uh, a, a classic example um Job interviews. Yeah. Right. Oh. Um, I, you know, when, when I'm looking for a job, I might do up to 10. You know, by, by the third, fourth one, you already know your talking points. You already know how to um, talk Approach, yourself up. Approach, yeah. yeah. The tactics, strategies. But it thing. never, that anxiety never goes away. Even on the 10th um, interview, you're still like, okay. Isn't today, that like just game time anxiety? Yeah, it could be. But, yeah. but what, what is that? Like, yeah. it, but it's, it's, it's just jitters. Isn't yeah. that the uh, yeah. fight or flight? Yeah, Isn't fight or could be. Yeah. It's jitters. It's so I'd rather jitters. not do the interview and, and not have those feelings yeah. than to actually, you know, attack that interview and have that uh, the jitters. Yeah. Like it's a, 
and 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 those jitters they they can because the stupid question there's interviews that's why probably yeah there's a lot of stupid yeah. questions in uh, there that's I, I why it makes me laugh it, it makes me laugh all the time because i've been in that and and part then i was just like my but, but i think it's also the the fear that um or, or the worry that they'll ask me a question that i can't answer and now i look stupid or I, i'm not going to get the this job which in my head i already have you know so there's all these like um thoughts that come come to your head leading up to uh, like an interview or some sort of interaction that sort of like creates those um anxiety yeah so you make up um scenarios in your yeah. head that haven't occurred and yeah. you're just yeah, like how it's, it's going to play a, out yeah. and yeah like public speaking um no nobody really cares what you're really talking about no, no, you just go there and no. talk but then like you know i'm thinking okay what if i say something dumb or i have Unless a stutter or whatever they will yeah. remember you they'll probably hire <laughs> you for the next one <laughs> maybe there was maybe this, there was this girl called um amy cuddy right okay um i don't remember what she was talking about but the way that she said she goes she spread her arms out she puffed her chest out and um she put her head out right she like this is chest out yeah chest out everything the, right yeah. yeah and then she goes now you're confident and i went huh she goes just stand like that hmm. and we'll head up wait, wait, shoulder is this up a ted talk ted talk yeah i think i know you which, which yeah. you're talking about and i was just like this woman this woman just solved my anxiety. <laughs> it's like just, so just it's so simple. But yeah, I mean, some, something like uh, as simple as that could um could could change your the, these thoughts that you have. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. I tell me tell myself too many stories. I've, I've got no problem with presentation. Yeah. I got no problem with up PR or public relations. I've done it so many times. But oh. is it because you've done it so many times? Yeah, that you don't have a no, it becomes it comes like look, bus, muscle memory, right? It's not a muscle memory. No. I know I make mistakes. I always do. My, I'm Darius. Yeah, Miss this mistake all the time. <laughs> they just made a mistake. God made me mistake. You making me so. Uh, I love that statement. So I'm Darius. So that's like I'm confident. Yeah, so, yeah. It's the mo- it's like practice, but once you get there. It's already there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, isn't isn't that just muscle memory? Is that no? It's not muscle memory. It's just there. You gotta do it, you know. Mm, yeah. But if you believe on your stuff, yeah. So during the actual interaction, it it, it goes away. Yeah, because I'm already true. Because you're you're already in the state yeah. of mind. You're already relaxed. Like I know what it, I have to do. Yeah. But it's just leading up to it. It's just winning that person. Yeah. You got only twenty seconds to win that person. Well, I'll, I'll be honest. Even even right now when we before we record five ten minutes before or even like up to the last minute i'm thinking okay i, I, I don't want to say something stupid i don't want to nah. why wreck why the flow of this I, I don't want, i'm upset it's ron just, it's just sitting in my head yeah, yeah. it's just you always there now you didn't stock me out <laughs> 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 oh, oh i'm interested in fun- like um what's the say what's the what is the movie that plays the most in your head the i know m- this is the this movie is, yeah because like you know you said that um you know when you say um you, we have scenarios in our head. Yeah. What is the scenario that keeps replaying in oh, your the head? Oh, the movie. It's not movie. an actual movie. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. Inception. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring that. I told you. Inception's <laughs> fucked me up. Uh, badly. Uh, it's, I don't know. It's. I think it's like more of a, the inferior complex that I have in my head. Right. Like, like this is one one person like I've got in my head right now at the gym is Wendy. I can't seem to come up to her as like just to have a, a normal conversation with her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, you're a strong woman yeah and i want to know you but i don't know how to approach why you. why do you want to know her because i don't have that level of mentality that she has that's what that's what i'm telling myself uh, all right so again again so you so so you've no, made no. you've made two stories mm. you've made two stories in your head about the story of wendy mm-hmm. who she is as a person yeah and then you've made the story of you going up to wendy mm-hmm I can see why <laughs> you can get lost in that. Yeah. There's like, I mean, uh, I break it. I break it down to like, uh, you don't have you don't have any problem going up to Georgia, Jace. Not now, not anymore. Oh, you Jace, used to J- uh, like um used to with uh, George. I used to like even texting him sometimes. I'm like weirded out. Like I don't know how to text him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm like, hey man. I'm like, oh, that sounds stupid. Sort of yeah. thing. Like I mean, he's my coach. So I'm like, hey coach. I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds a bit better. Yeah, all right. Uh, but now, now I'm actually okay with him because like we've got uh, we share like a, a, a common like interest of photography. So yeah, yeah. Every time is we he talk, into photography? Now he is. <laughs> I, 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 I got him. He's I into got him, tech. So 
you know, I've been doing the videos. For yeah, him, yeah, yeah. Right? Um, so uh, from from then on, mm. he's like, hey, can you buy me a camera? So I went went to get him a good price at the camera shop. Yeah. And now he's be, like, if if you go to the class, he's got his that camera. Yeah, on all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, really? all the time. Burst mode. He's like, Fung, check this out. Like, how do you do this burst mode? Like, uh, how do you edit? The, like, check out my edits. Yeah. I'm like, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now we're like, cool. We're like, yeah, we, yeah. we talk to each other all the, all the time. But previously, he was like, he's my coach. I don't want to say something stupid. I don't yeah. know how to approach him. Like, yeah, how yeah. do I talk to him kind of thing? <sighs> it's 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 like this is how I approach people all the time. Right, right. right. Mm. So Like, before this, I come into your house. I was like, oh shit, this guy's got like a lot more professional gears than I have. He's been in the game longer than I uh, have been. Yeah. So I'm like, dial it down a bit. Like, I am in the, in the presence of greatness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the story I'm telling Ro, myself Ro, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. time. Dude, so. I don't even have a mic out. <laughs> 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 no, but for you, like it was, it's more like, hey, um, you know how you're blue belt and I'm not. Dude, so you, when you were one. teaching me, I was like, okay, I, I need to like listen and uh, take uh, take good care of not fucking up. Huh? So yeah, it's, this is what how I am, dude. I I'm opposite onto that. Really? I don't know. If you, I break us straight away with you from the day one I met you. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's now nah, how do you bring mm. it out? How did you approach your missus? Uh, it's totally different. No, context. no, that's how you're gonna do it. Of course, you had um, fear. Yeah. How did I approach her? Oh no, no, no question. She approached you, right? I did it. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, yeah. Like, there I, you I, go. I, I, I was interested, but I'm like, okay, cool. She looks like she's close to that guy. I'm not gonna talk to her. And then uh, at the end, she's she's like, hey, I'm X. I'm Fabrina. I'm Abby. I'm like, okay, cool. Goes home. Facebook stalk. Hi. <laughs> Stalker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's how that's how I went. And luckily she had like an interest in me. And I was just like, okay, cool. I see a little bit of interest, I will attack now. Yeah, right. Sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Breaking the ice is always a hard thing. Yeah. We, 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 no matter the situation, whether it's a, a networking yeah. event, whether it's a, at a gym, it, in any 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 oh. situation where you have to really? almost hey, how you going? Even that's but sometimes that, hard, that right? Part is like to me is break the, break or fail. The wall is high. It's fucking high. Oh it's man, a, yeah. it's a really high wall. Really? Yeah, it is. It's a huge wall. Like now, you see me. I'm I'm uh, semi confident at the gym because I start to know a lot of people now, right? Mm. But before that, I'm like, see you, you know. as a god. Yeah, Sexy you, you god guys are all gods you. to me, kind of thing. I mean, at our old gym, Ron. Like we went, we used to go to uh, to our old gym. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say the names. Yeah, yeah go. Yeah. Uh, all right, Team Parosh. Yeah, that's uh, that's our old gym. And like when we went there. We knew nobody. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I just knew Ron and that. And after like what a year or something, we started to know one or two people. But that's it. That was it. Yeah. But in this gym, I feel like I know everybody. It's a different gym, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's yeah. a different atmosphere. Yeah. So that's that's a good thing about it. Nah. But it, the 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 idea is still there. Like that that fear that block is still there. For yeah. Me. yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. a good thing. Uh, is that say? Is that is that your main block as well? It, it's it's hard to overcome yeah 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 like leading up to this i was nervous were you yeah dude all i wanted to hear you guys is rona and whiskey <laughs> and then i was go, man i'm in yeah. detox i go <laughs> fuck i'm missing out lucky you got you didn't get that pizza man i was like dreading yeah, to we see were talking about yeah, pizza. I, I did not I want to see that pizza. i, don't want to see pizza. I feel, you I feel your good diets. that there's no pizza right uh, you <laughs> and your diets guys you and your diets uh for me it's never been a problem really uh uh, what is it? Uh, what's the right word? Breaking. Uh, I, I break icebreaker. Or to, uh, to approach uh, someone. Mm. It's no 2% or whatever it may be. That's, uh, the most important to me is I've learned something that if you want to get something done. Mm. Mm. Like, like that, he said, that's easier said than done for a lot of people, yeah. including myself. Like, yeah. I, it, it makes a lot of sense to, there's a person that I want to talk to. I can gain a lot of value from talking to that person. But breaking the ice, that's hard. Just go in the fridge. <laughs> that, cause, cause you start. Um, see, the more knowledge you gain from reading books and um, listening to audio books or listening to podcasts, you, you read more and you gain this information. And you yeah. go, "Fuck, I know nothing." <laughs> it makes you read. Yeah, you go, yeah. "I know." No- I, I, even, even more so that when we start the podcast, like now, I'm like, "Shit, I've talked for thirty-four, like sorry, we released thirty-five episodes." And I still don't know know anything, right? But that's the good thing yeah. about it. Like you think about um, you, 
you name the smartest person in the world in the world at the moment at and yeah at the at the moment uh smartest person in the world right now is stephen hawking stephen hawking he's but he's dead, dead isn't it yeah yeah but like, i was like elon musk is elon oh, yes sorry elon musk yes uh, okay and how much uh, the percentage of the world's knowledge the whole world how much do you think he knows percentage wise three industries only probably yeah probably less than not even one percent less than one percent and he's the smartest bloke in the whole world can i just say he's a shit speaker yes that's what i'm saying (laughs) he's the smartest bloke in the world and he's you said it he's a shit speaker how can does that put that put in perspective like you're not supposed to know everything Mm. Or you're supposed to know majority of nothing. You're supposed to know nothing. <laughs> if you if ninety nine percent is out there of knowledge, and you don't and you know less than one percent, you can't feel inferior. You can only be curious about everything. You're gonna go, huh? I've learned something new. You know what I mean? It's it's impossible. For uh, like we if we've unlocked guru, guru. if yeah. we've unlocked less than two percent one percent of the brain's capability of absorbing information and retaining it. We're too hard on ourselves as human beings, yeah. thinking we should be a certain way. That, like that doesn't help. That social media has taught us that you have to be a certain way. You can't be imperfect. It doesn't help that like the idols that we grew up with, we put them on pedestals and we said they're the unreachable target. Hmm. And then all this shit, you put ceilings on yourself. You put this glass ceiling on yourself that someone is better than you. And at the end of the day. They fucking know less than one percent of fucking and information. And worse, you know what I mean. So it's it's like the, when they it, when I say when I hear limitless, literally there is so much unfucking knowledge. The, the terrain out there of knowledge yep. is being unmapped by so many people. When like the confidence should be high, you be like, "Fuck, I know nothing." Mm-hmm. That's, That's good. So you're saying the remedy to all of this is just like uh, curiosity. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Perspective, it's a hole. perspective, and curiosity. You put everything in context. You understand the perspective of it, and you get the curiosity up. You can't lose because you're always willing to learn. Sure. Hmm. So, like, if you take into the context of like trying to meet somebody, it's like, hey, I'm curious about that person. I'm just gonna go. That's to right. Say, you're not looking to gain anything. It's so, just curiosity. Hey, let's talk. Yeah. That sounds uh interesting. Are By you the f- way. He's a guru. I'm you, <laughs> greatness. Mm. Presence of greatness. Oh, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the whole reason yeah. for the, to get you guys on, because I was curious about what you guys, because like I talked, um, when Eric went onto your show and then he started saying stuff and he like, he started describing the podcast and he's describing each, yeah. and I was like, uh, I got some questions for you. Honestly, how they react though. So, like, Thank yeah, you. but the whole, my whole thing in it laid on, and I wish I picked this up early. Early was curiosity. Mm. The more, the more I just wanted to, I see something, and I, like I look like a dumbass all the time because I ask people, I go, I don't get it, I don't understand, right? And people would look at me and go, You should know. I go, You explain it to me. Mm-hmm. That's that's like the biggest fear to look like an idiot for a lot of people. Yeah. But like, and I go, you explain it to me, right? Yeah. And they can't explain it to me. I go, mm. I don't understand. <laughs> you can't I go, you go deeper answers. into their knowledge and you realize they don't understand either, but they don't want to look like a dumbass in yeah. front of people. You know what I mean? And that big fear stops you from being the person you are. Mm. The more so I let go. Coming, coming back to that here, like, you know how you're saying that, oh, they don't know shit as well. Yeah. And they look like a dumbass or, uh, to everybody else. Yeah, I don't say that to them. Yeah, I know. I know you don't say that to yeah. them, but like, that's probably what I'm afraid of, to be that person. Of saying, to, oh. To, to, to not be able to explain things that I know and look, looking like a total dumbass. But mm. you can just say, I don't yeah. know. Well, that's that takes courage to say I don't know, right? Yeah. Oh, but, uh, no, not, it's not. <laughs> my uh, courage must be through the roof. I say, <laughs> I, every I time I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> the thing in, in a lot of circumstances, you know, your your knowledge or your knowledge base is sort of what gives you value. Right. So when someone asks you a question, like someone goes to your camera store and asks you a question that you don't really know, you sort of feel kind of shit because you don't know the question. Yeah, it's something really that you sure. should know. Oh, sure. Maybe you shouldn't sure, know, but yeah. you know. You, ah. you put it on yourself that, hey, no, this is something I should know. You won't have the who the answer, yeah. right? By the end of the day. You won't. Yeah. Have, so. I mean, uh, if if you do know the answer, 
do you want? Like, I don't understand. Like, you know what I mean? I'm still trying to fight. Like, mm. so if someone asks you and you don't know the answer and you're supposed to know the answer because the other person thought you were supposed to know the answer and you couldn't answer it. It's kind of on them, isn't it? But right. Yeah. It's not on you. <laughs> I didn't know the answer. Yeah. Why are you, you asked me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thinking I knew. I don't mm. know. I just don't know. Like, I just feel like you can't, we're, we're too hard on ourselves. Yeah. We're yeah. too hard on ourselves. That's, uh, um, that's definitely something that I've been thinking about as well. Um, like that, the whole I'm too hard on myself, and like mm. I'm trying to figure out like how can I be easier? How can I look at it a different way? So it's it's definitely something I've been tackling mm. a lot. Mm. There you go. That's, that's it. it. You know, are we are we done? We good? I think we're good. Think we're that's a that's a good. That's good, start. man. That's good podcast. Of course, yeah. because you know why. We're alive <laughs> <laughs> on the double D. <laughs> is, is that really the name of this? The is it yeah, double D? Yeah. yeah. Da- Darius and Devon. Okay. Double D. You wanna you wanna be the H, the ham? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Done. Thanks very much, guys. Thank no, you. Man, no problem. I told you. Did great, man. Oh.